so for the future yep 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 nope good night good evening tonight i am going to be making a rest i wrote this pattern up a while back for breastfeeding um for a friend of mine who hey brian how are you so tonight i'm going to be crocheting a breast breast cancer awareness is october and the description has all of the information on what's going to happen after the live. I'm going to write the pattern up and put it on my website. And my plan is to write it up in the various sizes that it should come in. And when someone purchases the pattern, I'm going to save it at the end of every month, donate it. Hi, Samoan. Um, hi, Rudy. So that's my plan. So I'm going to get started. Um, I'm treating this kind of like a tutorial, guys. So I'm going to list the materials. Um, those are the materials I'll be using, along with some fiber, uh, some polyfill for the. I lost my yarn. Okay, I guess I'll grab the other skein I have of it up here. So I'm going to be using a 3.5mm three, three three crochet hook and comfy cotton mo mochaccino. For this tutorial, what are you guys up to tonight? So I'm going to start with a with six single crochet and a magic ring. This is awkward because you guys are all guys and I'm making a breast, so I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> like I did not plan on this. Um, my bad. But hi, you guys all have mothers, so here we are. Just saying. No shame. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Someone needs to come in here that's a girl. It's awkward. Six single crochet into a magic ring. Oh, okay. Thanks for being here. Two three, four, five, six. Yeah. It's all good. Three girls, my three girls are here. Does that count? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I think not. Let's just say rounds, not round, but it is what it is. So I'm going to put a stitch marker. I forgot to say we need a stitch marker, but we usually do need a stitch marker. I'll tell them. <laughs> Are they watching? Ha, 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 ha. Let me see if I can. Ooh, that was loud. Let me see if I can make these brighter. And less shadowy, because I look all shadowy. Shrouded in shadows. Aw, that's cute. How nice. Good that they have each other. So I'm going to be doing six single crochet so one in each of the six single crochet around for two rounds 
I don't know if you guys can hear me or let me know how my audio is. They're basically beating each other with pillows. <laughs> Good night, sister and brother. Doom. Oh, this cotton is kind of catching. Okay, thank you. Panama City was really good tonight. The gospel um, karaoke was really nice. This is row round round. I keep saying row. Round two and now I'm round round three. My poor son is stuck with all of his sisters and he has a long mullet, so people think he's a girl too. <laughs> Amen. There's nothing wrong with having long hair. My boys had long hair for a long time. They have long curly hair. Super cute. I need to count my stitches because if I'm off, it'll throw off the whole project. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. That's right. Hello five people so i have two people chatting rudy was here one person left lurking lurking areola i'm moving on there so ideally i'm using one yarn uh color but if you guys wanted to create the nipple and the areola then you would change color to the skin tone because those tend to be different colors just saying hi granny d i'm not doing anything no, i'm just kidding so moving on to the areola it's which i should write on the top actually so i'm gonna do that instead so it's more cohesive and understandable right there. I need to go to bed earlier. Look at me. All in these crazy hours. So in the back loop, I'm going to increase in each stitch around. Yeah, good night. Thanks for being here. You know? In the back loop only. Can you guys even see this? It's hard to see with the camera, kind of. Oh, hi. Hi, Elaine. It's sleepy time. I should be sleeping. Hmm. So this is the nipple and I'm making the areola and I did say that, I don't know. I think I should put this on 18 plus when I finish. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is what it is, right? We have these parts. Okay, my camera's getting bumped by my big head. So I'm moving on to round five. Good night, night. It should be a fast pattern. It's gonna be like a three-hour pattern. Or 
three hours. Three hours later. I can't believe there's like five people in here. It's like it's like twelve. Oh, it's only twelve here. So I'm going to be working into the stitches as normally. Single crocheting one. And then increasing in the next and repeating that around. And I should have 18 stitches. Yeah, I swear this is like, <laughs> this is really awkward. I should have put girls only or something, like a clubhouse. Only girls are allowed here tonight. I write the word, like you guys see the title on my video. I don't know why you're here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously though. I don't know, right? Y'all read the title. I know you read the title of this video. Like, over here, clicking in here. <laughs> Incorrigible. Did I write this incorrectly? No? Crochet? It says it right there. I feel like <laughs> it says it in the title. I came into the chat typing, hello, fellow yarn fest. <sighs> I need water. <coughs> We're best friends, man. You know, I, all, I always come here. Yeah, I know. You're always showing up. You're always showing up for me. These are true facts. Why this sweater looks so dirty on the cuff? Let's just pull that sleeve up. Eh, I don't care. My wrist is cold. Well, here's the, you know, it's forming already. So, uh, yup. <laughs> Awkward laugh. Well, you know, you chose to be here, so, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I will be leaving the replay for the live on here, so, yep. <laughs> that way people don't think I'm talking to myself. So, in round six i'm going to be single crocheting two and doing an increase in the next oh, i guess i'm gonna hear about this tomorrow hey you were live last night and you were making your breasts that's that's mm, nah. my life do what what did I say I had no idea what you know I don't know two single crochet and increase into the net Rudy what are you doing can I mute chat yeah you can mute chat you can mute the replay of chat in your settings. You can turn the live chat to be off. Like you, if you don't wanna have it on, when someone watches the replay, you could turn the chat off later. Yeah, no, for sure. Go about your business, so. Whatever that meant. So yeah. This is what it's looking like. Sorry, I'm not trying to like, you know, just uh, fixing it. Yep, totally cool. <laughs> so at this point, let me write that right there. I wish I could 
separate that. But at this point in the breast, you would change the colors if you're trying to do like a two-tone, you know, boobies, how they look. So anyways, uh, uh, this is a very mature video. So for round seven, single crochet three and then increase in the next. I'm gonna get like 5 million community strikes today. 5 million. Ew. Yeah, it gets weird on YouTube after dark. I don't know what's going on with people. It's interesting. So I'm single crocheting three and then I'm increasing. I hear my phone vibrating, but I don't see my phone, so I don't know. I hear my cell phone vibrating as if I'm getting a phone call. I should check that. Give me a sec. Let me finish this round, though. I wish I had, like, five hands to finish this. Text. Single crochet three. Then do an increase. Boop. It looks like a little hat. Aww. I could make this a baby hat. It looks like a little sombrero. Oh gosh. That's funny. Give me one second. I'm trying to figure out the phone call I just got. Continuing. Yeah, it looks like a sombrero. 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 Sorry. <laughs> um. Let me put the next round. Round eight is a single crochet. Four. And increase in the next. Jurassic Park moment with the vibrating of the phone, right? Single crochet one and the next four and increase in the next. Single crochet four and increase in the next. I'm just gonna make this and then go to sleep. <laughs> mm. Hold on, my laptop's dying. Let me plug my laptop in. It was alive before I started, and now it's just fine. I'm gonna drop my other laptop. Okay, everything's falling. Good job. is very catchy. Mm -hmm. 
There we are. So that's the end of round um, eight, and I'm moving on to round nine. I'm trying to use a professional voice. Round nine is an, another increase round. We will be single crocheting five and then doing an increase and repeating that around. How's my day been? My day has been very long. I woke up very early. Uh, I don't know if you caught I Bring It Every Day Kelly's live, but we did some macrame this morning. Here, let me show you what we did. So we did this. I can link this in the, the description if someone watches this later, but we did this Ooh. macrame on her live today. It was really fun. My first time doing macrame. And yeah. So that's how my day was. I say this because my day was very long. Woke up very early and this is what we started doing in the morning. And then I didn't sleep last night really. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like a like, little sleepy person one two three four oops wait did i say five yeah look at the screen how's your day been one two three four five It's 12.39 in Houston, Texas. Houston. So repeating that. One single crochet into the next five stitches. And then an increase into the next. That's good. Repeat that around. Should have 42 stitches at the end of this round. Okay. see if I can adjust myself because I'm getting a lot of <clears throat> like um, shadows and I don't know if I like how shadowy everything is coming out so hold on Sorry, Rudy. I'm trying to crochet. Yep, yep, yep. Need to figure out how to get better lighting. So my lighting usually 
just like staring at you like, hello. I'm a mature adult, you know? This isn't funny. And then my last increase, and then we're gonna move on to round 10. Da -da 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 -da. Round 10, we're going to do one single crochet into the next six and then increase. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the lighting's good. All right, you know, it's hard to tell. Ooh, I just bumped my camera. I'm very OCD-ish when it comes to crafting and making stuff. So I want people to be able to see what I'm making and remake it themselves. So the lighting and the audio and everything. I just want to make sure. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Don't mind me. I'm gonna crochet faster. Do I mean 38? No, 48. Why? Did you do the math? Am I wrong? I feel like I'm not. I counted. I counted him. I made sure to count my stitches. The first time I did this. Well, my hands are all the way over here. Oh, what, what am I doing? I don't know. That was round 10. We're going to move on to round. 11. Let me pull the instruction book. Round 11. We're going to single crochet one into the next six, seven. Yeah, the next seven. And then we're going to increase into the next like this. Let's get down to business to defeat the funds. Oh. Did you send me daughters when I asked for sons? Very heavy door. I gotta remember to move my hands over here. Because if I don't, you can't see what I'm doing.
Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Everything helps, you know? This is just a random pop-up to do this. I mean, I definitely didn't schedule this, nor did I have plans to do this. But I'm always doing something and I never decide to share it or anything, so yeah, thank you. So we're going to move on to round 12. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every time we do another repeat, we're increasing how many we do by one. So last round it was seven, this round it's eight single crochet. So that's how you do a basic circle. You just increase by one each time. So we're going to be working one single crochet into the next eight stitches and then increasing in the next and the puppy i'm calling my puppy but she did not come so. yep 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 <clears throat> it's getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, yep. It's getting bigger. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be a D cup. So my plan is that I would do the largest size I wanted to do. And then I would measure it with my... Um, measure it with my measuring tape and then I would just figure out the other sizes by doing it like that instead of making like a bunch of different breasts which I could do which would make it probably should do that actually more content more videos on it I don't know Mm -hmm. Nationwide is ours. Oh, commercials. This video is not sponsored by Nationwide. <laughs> this yarn is so soft it's very nice cotton cotton blend This is the last stitch. Having trouble. Oh, hey. Hello. Welcome back. I figured you left. I was like, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, we're on round 13. Round 13 is going to be another round of increases. We're going to single crochet one into the next nine and then increase in the next. Did I finish my project from earlier? Uh, yes. Which one, though? I finished, um... Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, are you talking about this project? Or are you talking about this project? Or are you talking about... I'm just kidding. <laughs> this one or this one? That's funny. This project is this? I think I'm funny. Ha 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 ha. This one? Macrome, the one we did on Kelly's Live. Macrome, 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 macrome. Dollar Tree, got it from Dollar Tree, y'all. Yes, we'll put this right there. I'm gonna link that video in my description. That way, you you know, people who, cause I did show the, that already earlier and mentioned it, but people can go check Kelly's live out because that's where we made that. And then I have the video with Dollar Tree Hall, which I'll link right here. Cause I can do that later. <laughs> linking it right here and it'll probably be right exactly here right right there on my finger like a little owl like a bird no <clears throat> thank you the doll in yes uh nezuko from the demon slayer anime you know they slay demons yeah. spiritual warfare and all an interesting anime I feel like it glorifies it a little bit though she's a, um, the sister of the the main character she gets attacked by a demon on the mountain that they live on but in the process she becomes a demon herself um she gains the ability to, um, I don't know, she just gains powers. Uh, but she remains semi human and like conscious. I believe it's because of the demon that attacked her, but um, that's like the next season. But yeah, anime. I have a tutorial on this. What was that? Sorry, I had to mute really fast. I heard some like loud yelling. But um, I have a tutorial on her eyes. I needle felted them and I'll link it right here as well. Cause I can do that. Yeah. That way people can see it, you know. And then I needle felted her hair onto her head right here. So I use needle felting to um, attach her hair. Oh wow, really? Your your oldest daughter watches Demon Slayer? Yeah, it's a really good anime. It's all about like protecting the world from demons. It's pretty cool.
All right, so for round 13, we just finished it and we're moving on to round 14. We should have 66. And for round 14, we're going to single crochet 10 and then increase in the next stitch. Yeah, I do. I do. I need subscribers and watch hours, I suppose, so get monetized eventually. I'm just trying to make content that people will want to rewatch later and make. Which is why I'm doing this, so that people can make this and, you know, we'll see. So I just single crochet one to the next, the first ten, and then I increased. Yeah, I need a lot of watch hours. I just restarted my YouTube recently after a hiatus for like a year. Well, not a year. I was active in like Jan uh, January. I posted a video, a hat tutorial, which I'll link right here. So shameless. Put it right here. There's a hat tutorial I did in January of 2022 this year. So I think that's the last video I posted and I had to take a break from YouTube. Let me move her. She's kind of in my way. But I'll put this here. It's the last thing I did. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the music I have in my background, Simone, is uh, the StreamYard music, but I want to see if my husband will make, uh, make me some better music, because he produces music and makes music. Here, I actually have one of the beats he made, and yes, sir. I don't know how this sounds on here. Let me see if it'll load. You went on a break. Yeah, we broke up. Me and you. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm back. Yeah. Who? You too? Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> what you making? I'm making a breast. It says it in the, I said the title of I'm making a knitted knocker, but it's crochet, crochet breast support. So yes, single crochet, ten. Ooh, I did this mistake right here. I don't know if you guys can hear that loud, loud noise in the background. I'm gonna myself. Although, this is pretty loud. Yeah, that's a beat my husband made. He makes music. Hi, Daniel. How you doing? Yeah, he makes really... Um, kind of really ominous music he has um he has a channel but yeah he makes really ominous music he does bonnie and daniel welcome in welcome <laughs> thank you guys bonnie stay here please i'm making this breast um pattern and I'd rather you be here because <laughs> I'm like yeah 
there's guys. There's guys here. I, I didn't expect. Sorry, guys. I've said this earlier in the live, so it's okay. <laughs> hi, hi, Rokia. How you doing? <laughs> um, let me show you guys a pumpkin. I don't know where the pumpkin is. Yeah, I can never find anything when I'm looking for it. That's funny. So, no. I don't know where that pumpkin went. Oh, it's right here. Ow. So, like, I made this pumpkin. <laughs> I made this pumpkin uh, in a freestyle live on Friday one. Um, I'll link it here, right? You know, because I keep saying that, right? But, yo, it looks like a pumpkin boob. Does it not look like a pumpkin boob? And then this is the inside. <laughs> I was like, why? Crochet breast. Crochet beast. Yeah, well, there's an R right there. So, no excuse, okay? I'm just gonna put all my projects like right in front of me, laid out. Yeah, but it's a pumpkin boob. You see that booby? It's a booba lantern. <laughs> Ew. Oh, jeez. So yeah, it is a jack-o'-lantern. Basically, I want to fix it and redo it to make a pattern in a better pattern because this bothers me a lot. But... Uh, it's the insides of the pumpkin. It's its hair. A little hair. Hi there. I was going for oop, the light turned off. Yep. Glasses. <laughs> I'm still on what you said earlier, Bonnie. You're like, uh, what are you making? And then you're like, oh, thank God. I was I was going to say it looks like a boo. <laughs> that, that made me crack up. I'm in bed. I got to get up at 8 if I fall asleep. Sorry. It's okay. Go to sleep. And then couldn't sleep. Hi. Yeah, Tank. I couldn't sleep. So I decided to make a breast. So here we are. And then I pull pulled my pumpkin breast out. So here this is. And then I have this, and this is my crocheted, my husband crocheted, and you know, his booty, oh, he's balding right here. Kind of like my actual husband, he's got a little balding there. This is its booty. Put him in here. You sit him in this pumpkin, and he will stare at you. <laughs> Yeah, you're keeping me company as I crochet this <laughs> tank. <sighs> yeah. My my character is very consistent with how I am, so same rounds fifteen is a single crochet. 11 and an increase into the next yes yes that did happen i did not mean he looked it looks like bob ross that's funny <laughs> bobbert ross 
did you guys know interesting fact about Bob Ross is, you know, he passed away, but um, there are these people who he used to partner with that own his name now. There's a whole Netflix series on it, but they own his the rights to his name and everything that they sell, like the, any Bob Ross things that you see, which is why I don't buy Bob Ross anything. Um, they get the proceeds and they screwed his family over in doing that, his son and stuff. So that's why I don't buy any. Oh, you want to see my elephant? I actually have the pattern for this. I should put it on my, I think it's on my website. I have to fix this little trunk. This is the baby elephant. And you know, late night YouTube, YouTube is Yes, it is awesome. <laughs> All right, so what did I say? I was doing one single crochet into the next 11 and then increase. And that is round 15. Yo, <laughs> it's a, it's an amigurumi pile. This is, I have uh, this tutorial too that I did for a freestyle live and I'll link it here. I'm just linking it everywhere. And then a Pikachu, well, which I don't have the tutorial for. Uh, I have this tutorial. I'll link it here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, this is the last uh, free stuff Friday I did this guy. So Tabby Largo from Slime Ranchers video game. And then I've been working on this pattern for an eternity. <laughs> and my husband and then this and the little Pikachu, the little booty. And I showed you guys this one earlier. Nezuko Demon Slayer. I have the tutorial for her eyes up there. I'll link it. And what else? I'm just showing you guys everything. This is my fat head duck. It's the same pattern. Bow, bow, bow. Ba -da -ba -da. I don't have so much. Oops, that was low internet. No. Did that work? Am I frozen? Yeah, my internet just plummeted. Like, you know how on the corner you can see your internet? When, when StreamYard's up, it just went straight down to one bar and then it just froze. But it's back now. So I'm continuing single crocheting 11 and then increasing. Yay, I'm back. I'm back. It happens, right? I'm making a, a D cup. We'll be right back after these important messages. <laughs> Do you like needle felting? Well, I like needle felting. And you should like needle felting because I like... No, I'm just kidding. So I can't. I can't. You know, don't mind me, my butt. Um, I'm not reading that out loud. 
because if I read that out loud, then people are going to think that I said that, so I'm good. <laughs> you can't trick me. I know how this works, okay? Okay, Tank. Oh, that is true. You did get two shots in your derriere. I'm sorry that your derriere is in pain. Derriere. Derriere is French, right? French way to say booty. A cush? What's a cush? Is it to like cushion your tushion? <laughs> Late night chatting. Then bribe you for Christmas money? Who, me? Well, let's sell these knitted, knitted knockers and then we'll talk, y'all. Night, Bonnie. Have a good night. Cushion for my cushion. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just stabbed myself with this. <laughs> I'm readjusting my leg because it's falling asleep. This working thing cramps my side. <laughs> Dude, who are you telling? I, you know, but have a good night. Rest easy. Yeah, no, it did hurt. It hurt being stabbed in the leg with a needle on my foot when I moved my foot. I need to start. Like, I lost that uh, sewing needle earlier and I didn't know where it was, and now I do. Yeah, dude, like, I feel you. When are you going to go live next? Because I would join you. But I'm doing this right now, so I can't. Because that'd be cool. It'd be cool to hang out with you. Ten hour shifts doing customer service sounds terrible, though. It's okay, I hope they make they make me feel better. Yeah, I hope your shots that you got in your butt make you feel better, Tank. I said butt. Butt. Ugh. This video is going to be so bad to rewatch for people later. They're going to be like, what is going on here? What was going to be today? 10 hour shift doing customers alone. I'm live right now, but. Okay, I got you. If you guys want to run her as well as me, that would be nice. Just saying. Oh my gosh. I need someone to help me set my light bulb up. So it's the end of rounds, whatever it says right, right, right here. What is this round 15? Okay, so for round 16, let me grab that, grab the pattern right here and then let me click right here. I'm glad you love, 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 love your job. Oh, that's what you're doing. You're helping older folks out. What exactly do you do? If you don't mind me asking. So for round 16, we're going to single crochet one into the next 12 stitches. And then we're going to increase in the next stitch. This cold leather has the joints hurting. I'm sorry. 
Dito. I know that's terrible. Like, I know. I get you my pain, too, because, you know, we all, some suffer more, but I know what you mean. Oh, I'm going to move. Ooh, men's clothing store. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yes, because people tend to shop from online with that store. That's awesome. Well, you know, it's good you like to talk to people because if you didn't like people, then it would be a really hard job to do. Because a lot of people, I mean, perspective is everything, right? So if your perspective is... You know, I get to talk to people, I get to help them, I get to share Christ with them, you know, then it's like, it makes it worthwhile. But if you're going to have a, you know, a booty attitude about it, it's going to make you not like your job, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, well, you crochet a lot, Tank. So, I, I mean, it makes sense that your hands and your thumbs, not that you said your hands hurt, but your thumbs hurt. You crochet a lot, you know? Not that I'm telling you to stop. Don't ever stop, but... Hold on, I need to move my leg because... Ow. Ugh, that hurt. Oh, I bet you hear a lot of strange things. <laughs> Anytime you work in customer service, I'm sure it's just, yeah, weird. And I'm sure you get those people who are not as patient as you are with them and you have to be graceful and whatnot. And that's also hard. <laughs> it's really hard to deal with difficult people who think, they're right. And it's like, uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crochet probably keeps your thumbs limber. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, you're funny. That's just, I don't know. That's just funny. Like you're always stretching and moving your thumbs and fingers. Oh wow, people do shady things to get clothes. That's that is a whole other story. It's a whole other situation. I spent Samoans. I spent two thousand dollars with you guys buying Polo brand tracksuits, and nothing came in my house. I want replacements. Oh, people say that to you, mm -mm. and it's all like it clearly says delivered. What are you playing at, sir? I'm like <laughs> Samoan, and I'm like sure, yeah, for real. Obviously, there are these cases where that does happen, but then it's like, come on, dude. Come on. That's criminal. That's a criminal offense. To try and do that. LOL, like knitted socks. Girl. UPS states on their website that they straight handed it to the customer. <laughs> they, they, that they straight handed it to the customer. There's no denying. <laughs> That's just not cool. All right, we finished round 
16 and I'm moving on to the, that's the last increase of this. Hold on, let me put the next girl. Made it from Canada. So this is the way it's looking at round 16. And then we're going to move on to round 17 through 30. We're going to single crochet in each stitch around 84. Single crochet. So that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Brian, welcome back. And for this one, I'm going to use my notes, sticky notes, to keep track of what I'm doing. <clears throat> hey, look, my, I made it. I love to crochet says for a $2,000 order, I'd make them sign for it. Heck yeah. <clears throat> because for $2,000, of course that person's going to feel entitled to get something for free. It is the way it is tradition, right? That's terrible. Why even order if you're going to do that, you know? If you don't know, I'm going to be coming in much better was No. Yep, yep, yep. Do, do. I don't know why I'm singing so much. It just happens, right, Tank? I just sing. I'm going to try to do this really fast. So I'm single crocheting in each stitch around. And I'm going to repeat this until I have... 30 row, rounds, 30 rounds. Good night, Tank, good night. And I hope you do fall asleep and have good rest because I know how hard that is. I know. And rest that booty of yours. <laughs> ay, 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 you can't. I can't have a YouTube channel. I'm too weird. This is not right. <laughs> this is unright. That's a word. That's not a word. Yup. I'm really hoping people skip these chapters. And what I plan on doing is I plan on chaptering things. What are you doing around 2 to 3 p.m. tomorrow? whatever you need me to do i'm just kidding i'm actually 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 going to be at someone's live at 3 p.m tomorrow um so there is a youtuber named kim and her youtube name is yarning for a smile and tomorrow at three <laughs> tomorrow at three she's going to be having an interview with the author of Knit, Pray, and Share. It's a knitting book, and she's going to interview her, so I'm going to be there with her. Um, but I'm free after. Um, I don't know how long her interview is going to go for. I would say I'm free after five. I'm sure it won't go past five. Why? Yeah, today or tomorrow, because today is on the 11th already. I just thank you because I just the 11th or the 12th. I feel like it's not tomorrow until you go to sleep, but you know what? You know, the uh, hopefully, hey, uh, uh, Tank, do you have a community page? Because I know, um, Kelly already shared the link for the um, interview tomorrow. But if, do you have a community page? Okay, maybe I'll go live in the evening. I'll let you know. Okay, cool. Um, you can always um, 
contact me on Facebook like you like we do. So that was round 17, and now I'm doing round 18, which is the same as round 17, which is single crochet in each digit round. 484 stitches total. Oh yeah, okay, so can you, I mean, if you want, can you go to Kim's page and then share it on your community tab? I mean, if you want, it's just a nice way to help because, you know, she doesn't have a community tab. It'd be really, really cool. I feel like this would be a really good growth opportunity for her channel because, um, yeah, it just will be, you know, and hopefully, um, the author is telling the people on her channel that she's going to be on hers, you know, vice versa. So why ever I said vice versa, I don't know. Yay. Thank you. Like it's for me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to have a community um, page too. I think it's going to be so cool. So cool. It's cool because you could share like what you're working on. You can share other people out because you know people use that, and I've had people share me on there too, and it's really, really nice, and I really appreciate it, honestly. It's a good way to show that you. It's a good way to support each other, the community, as it would. Oh, she doesn't have it set up? Mm. Well, I mean, you could take her YouTube channel link and then just post it on there. I don't know if, if whatever. She said it's going to be at three. I didn't see it up yet either. And maybe she'll have to change it or like play around with it because she did say it's subject to change depending upon the author. Lisa? Lisa, right? Lisa. That's the author, right? Oh, you found it. Okay, cool. It's so funny. So I was make I was showing you this earlier, but I'm making it's kind of a bandana, or it's gonna be a bandana, but I'm knitting a bandana. Based on a Bonnie Bay crochet towel tutorial which I'll link in the description below, derp. But, but um, yeah, it reminds me because that book, there is a, there's a bandana pattern that people are making for chemotherapy survivors and people in chemotherapy. So they're making bandanas, which is really to donate and which is really amazing. So um yeah that pattern reminds me of that or i thought of that pattern because it looked kind of like that yeah you do need to keep getting it going i mean i saw you were at church the other day i was there i just didn't um say anything because sometimes when i'm lurking i don't like to say anything because i don't want to engage in conversation and then have to be in and out of the chat so much so i just leave it running but yeah i saw you were at church um and the kids were singing the other day which was so adorable and just praising god and like oh like i can't even it's just you know it's just special you know it was kids day mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm there, even though you don't know I'm there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Brian. I hope I'll get it soon. So that was round 18. Yeah, for sure. For sure, dude. For sure. For sure. So I'm doing round 19. And it's it should start curving in. Yeah. 
thank you for being here. You know what I mean? Support each other. Everything. So I'm trying to do double time crocheting because I'm doing this live so it's like mm. I don't expect people to like watch this far deep into me single crocheting in the round which is why I'm, in, I'm intending to uh, place chapters in the video you know total how many rounds total? We're doing 30 rounds at the moment. And in total for the complete breast pattern, um, it depends on how I'm feeling. Because I don't want... The original pattern is a ball. I'm trying to make a knitted knocker. The original pattern I designed was a breastfeeding um, tool for a lactation consultant friend. So that's what I'm trying to think is, should I go up that many rounds or should I not? And just leave it like a sandwich kind of situation. So I'm trying to figure that out. But if I were doing the pattern the way that I intended, it would be 43 rounds. And I'm currently on round 19. There's only three of us. That's a nice song. Yeah, it's a song in StreamYard. When you click banner or brand, it opens up the loopable music. There's different songs. They have pretty decent music. And if I wanted to like download a song and place it in the StreamYard, it would let me. It also lets well, you have StreamYard, so you kind of know. Wow. Your E has an accent mark over it. Oh, are you talking about I Can Only Imagine? Or are you talking about the song in the background? Surrounded by your glory. Well, I'm not trying to sing well. Well, will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you, be still? Will I stand in? My laptop just shut down. Uh oh. You save your progress on your video? Or does it auto save? I was telling my brother the other day because he was doing some DD &D map making on an. Uh, on a program on his computer and it crashed and he lost all his progress over the whole like past week or days and I was telling him like you need to start setting an alarm to all like to save that way you're not just getting rid of all your progress <laughs> that's terrible yeah I hope it all will save too yeah my husband uses um Fruity Loops, and he has a similar issue. So that was round 19, and now we're on round 20. You press the E key too long, and that's the... Are you on your phone, or are you on the computadora? Go on. Go on. Well, there's two of us, two of you. So that means Simone and you are here. Oh no, E, oops. Is that E on the phone only? E, nope, it's just on the phone. 
yeah if you hold down any of the letters on your any of the vowels because the accent marks are only on the vowels of the right i think so the vowels a e i o u oh you only have a phone i thought you had a computer too Aw, y'all, y'all so cute. You're you're finding each other. This is why I need night thoughts so I can like have you guys drop links. Apparently, my night thought is on the mod thing, but it doesn't even like acknowledge me or work or nothing. <laughs> Any key. Oh, but aren't the accent marks on the vowels of the language? Connecting people er day. What phone company was that? What phone company was what? The one that she's with? I think she has Boost Mobile, I think you said, right? I could be wrong. I don't know why that sounds right in my head that you have Boost Mobile. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Laptop, but I don't use it. It has serious problems. It has problems? Like what? Like it has relationship problems? Or like, does your laptop have memory problems? <laughs> Vowels, yeah. A E I O U. That's. What I, I had voiced for ten years. What's voiced? Boost Mobile. Voiced. Voiced. I was so far behind. Well, Boost is a. Uh, picking up its game because uh, Sprint bought it and then Sprint was bought out by T-Mobile and then T-Mobile is supposed to be a good carrier but it's not. Sorry T-Mobile. Google's going to tell T-Mobile I'm talking about it. Super duper super catch up each other to get me that little just Every one of my social media and my phone is super old. Boost. Like, it does randomly save me thousands, dies. Your phone randomly dies. That's, like, not good. Okay, so I just finished round 20. And I'm moving on to round 21. Your phone randomly dies. That's not good. Or the, in the internet dies. Or the... Excuse me. The, uh... Yeah, Boost had good stuff, but I never had... What's Kinney? Connection? You never had connection? T-Mobile doesn't work in our area. Really? Dude. One guy picked up my phone at a picnic and he said, whose calculator is that? Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Was this person like in their, in their like teens or like, they didn't know what an older phone looked like. Do you still have a brick? Like the Nokia's or something? Or what are you doing? What are you working with as, as a phone? Like ballpark, what are you working with? That's funny. I mean, I had a flip phone like in 2000 and something recently. 
I never had any money. Well, you know, you have what you need and it makes phone calls. So, and you have a, a laptop to do internet stuff. You don't really need a phone. People are super addicted to their phones, man. And not like I'm helping anything because I'm doing YouTube tutorials. So, 2010, nah, he was a grown dude. A grown dude that didn't know what a cell phone that no, he was trying to be mean or he's trying to be funny, right? Whose calculator is that? Well, sir, it's my phone. Sometimes I think about his food late night in the middle of this. Food is so delicious. Nah. Okay, so be before Boost had flip phones, they had these $20 simple phones. They look like, uh, yes, they look like these, like, these little, like, squares, right? Like, uh, with the screens and the snake games, that so you could do the snake game. That snake game, you know what I'm talking about? Let me fix my legs again because ow. It looked like Texas Instrument. Oh, I remember the Texas calculators. I'm gonna zoom not I'm not zooming into this. I'm just trying to zoom out. Dial up. Did you guys used to like have dial up internet like me? And then you would use those CDs to get AOL for free, and then you would make new internet? Or was I the only criminal here? <laughs> Where you would be like, okay, totally gonna make an AOL account. This is definitely my first time here. Thanks for the free trial. And then never buy the internet service or anything. No, just me, damn. It makes me sad. That was round 21. Now moving on to round 22. I used to call those bricks, so... Or we used to call them bricks once we got sophisticated smartphones. Ugh, smartphones. Ruining society since, like, 2011 for however long they've been out. Wow. Wow. What did we do before we had internet? Read books. I used to read a lot. Well, I still read, but I read a chapter a day or a night. Read a chapter a night from the book I'm reading so it's like still read I used to read way more so yeah you also had a dial up internet tank move this stuff You've got mail, or you don't have mail, so it's just sad and silent. You don't have mail. The party line, oh my god, that, that, I remember the party line. That was not a great place to be. That was a bad place. Bad, bad, bad place. Night, night, tank. Rest your booty. Oh, she left. <laughs> party line. Party line. That was the worst. I do remember that, though. My friends used to do that. I was like, mm, you guys are suspect. <laughs> they used to also have those uh, radios the walkie-talkies that would 
get a really far distance um they would pick up far distance um what are those called radio waves or channels and they would um yup they would do the most i'm just saying the most like yo where are your parents bro like that's how i would feel where are your parents why are you doing this go to sleep you know in the nicest way possible definitely dark times i agree dark 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 times so we're now entering the twilight zone So this is what it's looking like. It's looking like a little, a booby bowl. Or it could be a little beret at this point for a baby, a baby booby beret. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Baby booby beret, baby booby beret, baby booby. <laughs> yep, and this is, yep. To the moment, I need to like bring my pace. Oh my gosh, Tank, you came back to say that? That's hilarious because I know you left because it said one person, and then you just like, you came back to say, Wait, party line to me was four families sharing a phone line. Did you guys used to have um, wait, she left again, never mind. She literally popped in to say that and then left back out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hmm. Do you remember? I don't know if you always had T-Mobile, but they used to have um, phone a friend, or like you had you would add people to your um, what was it called? You would add your family to a little group, and those are the people you could call or free or something like that i don't remember and then remember when you had to pay for your minutes 209 what 209 million oh subscribers am i 290 i said 209 wow i can't read math i can't read any yes it was called top five 290 i said 209 y'all heard that right I just finished round 22. <sighs> what is that? Ooh, my phone is vibrating. Five. And then you'd put their, like, icons, and they were, like, the top five people you could call or something like that. Remember, call me back later after seven? Y'all i do i that that was high school sorry my minutes don't start until after seven <sighs> or text me yep text and then you would just go on the house phone or something oh someone calls you oh we'll just talk on the house phone okay thank you brian thank you I don't know. Oh, bundle texts for 200. What is the, the 2000s for $500? I do remember that. And unlimited weekends. Dude, I swear. I swear unlimited weekends and then long distance is like ooh, ooh. you had free incoming wow you had it good because the person calling you must have like been you know what i mean had the bougie minutes because you could pay for unlimited minutes it was just um a lot If I needed to call someone, I would call and say, hey, call me back. I can't hear you. Ooh. Yeah. 
that's messed up, man. Can you call me to use their minutes up? Nah, cool. But those favorite five were free, right? Or some, they were unlimited. I can't remember. It's been a minute. And I'm sure if we looked on the internet on Google, it wouldn't have anything about this. Like the real breakdown, there would be no information. Oh, Brian, why you be so nice to us? No, nah, don't question the kindness. Just accept the kindness. What round are we on? 23? I was not looking it. I was just going to yeah, count, but don't. never mind. Brian, you the best. Why you really nice? Cringe. So yeah, um, that's messed up, Simone. How are you gonna like use other people minutes like that? <laughs> hey, man, I can't hear you call me back. Uh, I can hear you so clearly now that you called me. Hashtag late night crew. Damn, man, when do you guys sleep? Me either. I feel like I've been crocheting forever. Oh, I'm at 139. Well, I mean, at least I feel like this video will be rewatchable, if that makes sense. Meaning it's not gonna be a video that's just like useless. It has a purpose. Not that doing lives is not purposeful. So well, let me 23 i'm gonna move on to 24. that was almost the tune to lisa simpson's birthday song um uh, lisa it's your birthday happy birthday lisa are you talking about that song what a sweet song bart made for him i know right wait what did i say i don't remember i have to rewatch what i'm talking about so we're going till round 30. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a breast ball. Or should I go down right here? I sort of like, yeah, ball. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Davis. Trivia? Huh. Yeah, right. I can't remember a lot of... I remember things that I know about, but I don't remember things that I don't know about. That's That was, like, obvious, though. What is... I mean, if you want, you can ask me questions I could probably try to answer. And then see if I know some trivia but it's like pop culture for 500. How I was, I'm, I, I was a minute hog. Did you have rollover minutes? Cause I believe they used to roll over a minute. Like if you didn't use all your minutes that month, you would get roll, rollover minutes. Great quote. What quote? What did I say? I don't remember. I, um, yeah. I dabble. Marvel. Yes, roll over minutes. Ah, yes, roll over minutes. Come on, minutes. Roll over minutes. I can't believe that was a thing. Rollover minutes. Like they really made us feel like we had like the minutes equal money or something. Hi Rudy. 159. 
in Houston, 159 in Chicago. Ah, that's funny. You So you must have had a lot of rollover minutes and that's why you're saying you're a minute hog because you had all the rollover minutes. Well, with the government phones, I heard that they uh, still have the minutes and the rollover minutes stuff. Which is interesting. Watch and type for it. I remember when Blackberries came out, they blew my mind. Yeah, I wanted a Blackberry, but I never got a Blackberry. But they were the thing. But I heard in like, I don't know where, maybe it was Japan because they were the manufacturers or electronic. They were ahead of their times in electronics at the time. But they were, they, while we had Blackberries, they were over here on some, oh, they had phones with cameras in them and whatnot. This is the rumor I heard when I was younger. They they had phones with cameras already when we were using Blackberries. But do Blackberries have cameras? I don't remember, but they I do know that Japan was way ahead of the game. That I do remember. Yeah. And I don't, I don't remember when Apple came out, but oh wow, we're we're even, we're even. War, this is war. Let's throw down the next card. So I just did round twenty-three, and now I'm on round, or I just did round twenty-four, and now I'm on round twenty-five. Did the chat jump? Yeah, it did. Wait, did it? Yeah, it, it really did jump for me. Because it's, for me, it said, oh yeah, you do have 290. Because Palm had it, Palm, Palm Pilot. So I had a story about that. I worked in port and export at the airport. I have her backup page. Oh, you have a backup page? Like a backup pager or a backup like page? And I got to see all the next gen tech. Ooh. You caught me up fast. Yes. That's really cool. Thanks, Brian. Brian Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Next gen tech. Interesting though. All that stuff that they keep for themselves and then slowly it gets released into the United States. Like, interesting though. Because I'm sure it's still like that, but with different technology, there's definitely technology that we don't know about. Mm hmm. Hold on. A trucker had this phone that no one else had ever seen before, or has ever seen before. And he got me and my friend one, and it worked with your network. It worked with your network at the time. That was 2005, dude. What was happening in 2005? They still didn't have a. Uh, now I want to research history of the phone, but they didn't have smartphones in 2005, right? Or they were just about to have them. It had all type, it had all kinds of software in it. It was a Sony Ericsson and had, and it had FaceTime in 2005. Really? What? That's crazy. Let's 
so I am like about halfway done with this. So yeah, round, what round did I say? 20, round 25. Oh, 4,000, Rudy wrote 4,500 something. Something. Something, something, dark side, something, something, something. So my husband just came back from doing some deliveries, right? So I'm starting on round 26. So listen to this, okay? So he just got, he uh, cut his finger while he was working and he was bleeding. He went into a restaurant in our neighborhood called El Ranchito and asked for a Band-Aid from one of the workers there. And with Rokia, if you see this later, don't ever go to that restaurant. That restaurant's ratchet. Um. Anyways, so he he goes in, he asks for a Band-Aid, and the lady refused to give him a Band-Aid. And he's over here delivering for them food, right? Because he's doing DoorDash to make extra money. So, like, they they said no to him. And he's helping them by delivering their food via DoorDash. They don't, they, man, ah, I never liked that restaurant because their customer service is so poor and they, they really don't care. And then he said, after she said no, she went straight back onto her cell phone and continued about her business. 
not serving customers. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. It's a 24 hour rest Mexican restaurant. Like, dude, are you serious? Like, what? Why do you do, like, why do you even do what you do? Because you're, you know, you're a server. You basically, you're, you know, your job is you to serve people. And, and you know they have bandages there. You know what I mean? But it's like, really, dude? Yeah, some people are asses. Like, that's terrible. Well, how you gonna... Wow. That's so disappointing. But you know what? We don't eat at that restaurant because the service is so poor. And, like, that just reiterated and reproved. We, re, you know, reapproved why I don't like the restaurant. Because <laughs> you go into that restaurant to eat. And the servers, they ignore you until you call them out. They, they don't see you. They don't come to ask you what you want to eat. They just don't care there. It's just business, but it's a poor business. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really don't know. And it's not for the money because yeah, they don't make a lot of money. Maybe that's why they don't like to serve people. They work off tips. I'm not sure how they pay them there, but yeah. The women there can be very, uh, I don't want to say rude, but you know, not great service. Like he's over here bleeding out of his hand and they don't help him. That's, wow. Acts of service is one of your love languages or your love language. There you go. So you like to give good service and you like, you know, I get that. That's so funny. I think I brought that book up into Kelly's live once when I was on her live and it was like, look, it's the love language book. Acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, giving gifts and uh, uh, quality time. Those are the five love languages. Yeah, I think mine is. Uh, man, I don't. Rem I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think it's gifts. I think it was. Uh, I did that test thing, but I think it was uh, words of affirmation and quality time. I just finished round 26 and I'm moving on to round 27. That number comes next. Dude, Brian, the food from there is horrible. You know those restaurants that have that, you know Chef Gordon Ramsay, how he goes to restaurants and he revamps their menus and he's like, oh, this restaurant needs a lot of work. Your food is horrendous. That, that. Okay, Rokia, Rokia, girl. Okay, you're here. Don't leave for a sec. Okay, you know El Ranchito on um, Milwaukee? El Ranchito on Milwaukee by the team. I got a little excited. Hold on. She's in my neighborhood. The El Ranchito Mexican restaurant. It's on Milwaukee, Kimball, Belmont. Right? Mine is to be treated well. I love to be treated well when we go places. I always tip big because I appreciate people helping people. And when people don't do it, really, right? It's sad. It's super sad. But Rokia, so my husband went to the ranchito. He's doing um, DoorDash right now. And he had a cut on his finger. And the lady in the El Ranchito restaurant refused to give him a band aid. And he's bleeding and he's delivering their food. You know what I mean? So don't ever go there. The food's terrible. It's the kind of restaurant that um, they serve everything. They make Mexican food. They make pizza. They have frick They have lobster there. They have no... Yeah, that place with the wooden bar tables. Yeah. And they do karaoke on some nights. They have like a bar there. It's... It's the place, um, El Ranchito, uh, it's across from that big Chinese place. It's a 24 hour location. 
You ever been in there? It's terrible. That food is horrible. The service is terrible. I'm not one to giving like terrible reviews, but that place can go somewhere. <laughs> that place is not great. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to see if you've been there. But yeah, that's the place with the wooden bar. There's a big, long wooden bar. Yes, it's a, it's actually a Mexican place. And it, they serve... I look up the menu. A ranchito. Maybe I can find it. I'm pretty sure they sell lobster. El Ranchito Mexican restaurant. I'm going to put the... We'll try to put it... El Ranchito. Let me see. I think I just found their menu. Give me a sec. Menu. What's on the menu? Let me look at their menu before I put this up. Is this them? 2829 North Milwaukee. That location. Dang, they have two locations? Get out of here. Get out of here. You guys have two locations? Stop playing. It's the one on Milwaukee. How do you got two locations? And they're terrible. I don't understand. But yeah, dude. They sell... They sell... Like, they sell pasta there. They sell pizza there. They sell Mexican food there. They sell, um, like, diner style food there. They sell alcohol there. I love Bria Hudson. I stick with them. And I bought soda from the ranchito once while walking around the city with my sister. Girl, I wouldn't even buy soda from there. They're so, they're so rude. Sorry. <laughs> so you know the, exactly the place I'm talking about. I mean, I just, oh, the last times I went in there, they, they ignored me completely. Lentina. I don't know if I've been to Lentina. I have to look it up. I mean, this is really soft yarn. It's the comfy, cozy cotton yarn. Cotton blend. All right. Gonna... Give me a sec. For when one gets shut down. For when one gets shut down, what? I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Because I got um, someone, my mom was talking to me. Dude, dude, dude. Here's the thing though. I know a few people that have eaten there, and I know that for one, uh, food poisoning has occurred. You know what I mean? So it's like, mm, swerve. Swerve if you can avoid it. That's all I'm saying. It's near Pulaski where the old bank is at. Near Pulaski by the old bank. <sighs> Pulaski. Are you talking about the Belmont and Pulaski location where there's this... Uh, there's like a body piercing tattoo place across the street. Maybe, maybe that's, um, but there's this place. You should really try them out. I forget what it's called though. Hold on, I just finished round 27 and I'm on round 28. Dude, that, <sighs> the bane of my existence is El Ranchico. I almost caved one night when I was like up late with my husband and we were driving in the city and I was like, I'm so hungry. And then we looked around for places that were open and we're like, El Ranchito. And then we looked at each other and we're like, nah, <laughs> cause it's so bad. I'm trying to think where you're talking about. There's a really good Mexican place on Belmont and central uh on belmont and central where the 7-eleven is um it's like el mama 
Mamacio or something like that. That place is the bomb. Like their food is so good. And the service there is so good too. Like they're awesome there. There's El Gallo Bravo. I think that's um the one I was thinking of. It's, 20, it's like a 24 hour location. Or they close at three in the morning. So they're closing like right now. It's not right what they do to you. Hustle. Wait, what was I saying? I don't know, man. That place is just garbage. It's hot garbage. I'm sorry. Hot garbage, and they sell really bad food. Yeah. <laughs> it's North Avenue. That place is amazing. It's on Uber Eats. North Avenue. I'm trying to picture in my mind where you're talking about. They brave chicken. They what? They bake chicken? Shall I be done with this? I'm gonna make a breast ball. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be... Okay, cool. Sounds good. I'm always up to trying new food. This is my favorite thing is like a gordita or a sope. I don't know what it is about so sopes and gorditas, but I like that thick um, corn flavor versus a tort like a taco and a tortilla. El pollo bravo. Well, yeah, el pollo uh, el pollo bravo. I think that sounds that sounds about right. It's like a um, Milwaukee, Belmont, near Pulaski, um, across from, it's by like, uh, I think you're looking it up on like the map, but it's by a, what are those called? Gas station? Wow. And a um, Walgreens, Taco Bell is nearby and Burger King and Dunkin' Donuts. So I just described any street ever in existence. <laughs> any street, that could have been anywhere. I did give coordinates though. Mm -mm -mm. El Pollo Bravo. Mexican food in general is just like, mm. so good. 28, I just finished around 28 and I'm moving on to 29. 29. Should I go on to my Facebook to see the link that you sent me? All right, so this is, so we're not in the same. This is the link that you sent me. I'm gonna open it right now. I just put it right here. That place is delicious. Apparently, I have to check it out. There's this place on, um, straight on Milwaukee. You know, Rokia, you know the, um, man, what is it called? The Janie, um, porch, uh, not mural by the, on um, Milwaukee Avenue of, um, well, I just had a brain fart. The Genie from the Aladdin. Who plays the Genie from Aladdin? See, this is why I can't do trivia.
Robin Williams. Robin Williams. You know the Robin William Williams mural on Milwaukee? There's a place called, uh, there's a taco place right there that sells tacos for around $2 or something. But you have to salt them. Robin Williams. Yep, Robin Williams. <laughs> I couldn't even think of his name. Robin Williams, yeah. There's a taco place right across from his mural. Ariel. The seaweed is always greener. Choo -choo -choo -choo. In somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there. But that is a big mistake. But yeah, there's a really decently priced taco place right there. Super decent. It tastes good. Good price, guys. The cooks there are nice. Real hospitable and awesome people. Yeah, I think it's called Turbo Taco. It's called Turbo Taco, and me and my husband call it Terrible Taco. But their tacos are amazing. But we call it Terrible Taco because we're rude. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> it just it sounds like that's what Turbo Taco. It just sounds like that's what it's saying. But they're really good tacos. Yep. <laughs> when you admit that you're rude. Look at this stuff. Isn't it cute? When I just want to go to sleep. Oh, Turbo Taco. Yeah, it's called Turbo. Like, Turbo when you go fast. Tacos when you eat them. The burrito looks good. Mm -hmm. What one are you looking at? The uh, the one I just linked. Am I making people hungry? Cause I'm kind of hungry. I'm about to eat like my hand. song has been stuck in my head for like a long time. <sighs> drinking water. I'm drinking. This is what I'm drinking. Pomegranate. Dark. My little cherry and pomegranate. I know I had it St. Pellegrino. St. Pellegrino's. But yeah, that taco place is really decently priced tacos. Excuse me. You just burp. It's like by Margie's ice cream place on uh, Milwaukee. Around there. Around Armitage in Milwaukee. That's the main streets. And it's the bomb for like cheap tacos when you like Pizza, pizza. Oh my goodness, dude. I would love some pizza, pizza right now. Pomegranate is expensive. It is, but it's great with antioxidants and it's really good for your skin and your body. Been to Cleveland Street? No. Maybe. I don't know. Possible. But yeah. No. I don't, not at the moment. I just did round 29. And I'm moving on to round 30. Oh my goodness, we're nearing the end of the booby. I've only been live for two hours. Only round 45, 50, no, round 30 I'm going to be on. So close to being done. After I finish this round, I'm going to start decreasing, which I'm excited about. That means 
that I can start stuffing the breast. I don't know why I said breast like that. Or rust. And I'm quite aware that not everyone has a D-sized breast. But that's just the size that I made. And then I will... <coughs> excuse me. Create the other patterns. When I'm done with this one. Although these can be used for like lactation consultants too, which, yeah. 30 times 2 is 60, not 55. Oh, let's get, let's finish this. But yeah, you were going to ask me Marvel trivia questions? Oh, Someone? Say a crochet if you search your own. Do you like DD speech stuff? Hi, Susan. Good morning. That's cool, Rudy. Good morning. Or did you sleep and wake up? Or did you not sleep at all? What side of the morning are you on? The long night or the early start? Which X-Men loves to paint? Which X-Men loves to paint? Isn't that the Beast? No, he likes to read. Am I wrong? I don't know if I know that. And loves poetry. Is it the Beast? Probably wrong. That technically isn't a Marvel question. Because Marvel doesn't own X-Men. And yet... <laughs> yeah, it is though. They really... But it is Marvel. Move this up. I stay up late a lot too. Clearly. You know? Like look at me being here all up late. The Beast loves to read. Is it Night Owl? Oh. Night Owl. I thought you were saying. Never mind. There's no Night Owl. There's Nightcrawler. I thought, I thought that said Nightcrawler, but I read Night Owl. He also loves poetry. Beast loves to read, loves poetry, and he loves to hang upside down while he does that. Like an owl. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I need to not do this again tomorrow. Hi, Steffi. <laughs> I'm definitely a night owl. I just don't talk about it much. Okay, so I just finished round 30 and I'm moving on to the decrease rounds. So let me put it right into the chat and then I'm gonna post it like I've been doing. So for round 31, we're going to be single crocheting 12 and then doing an invisible decrease over the next two stitches so i actually have to count to do these any more marvel questions if i if i know was I wrong about the answer that I gave the four? What am I doing? Or what is Steffi doing? I am crocheting a breast. These are the things that happen at night. <laughs> yup. Ooh. Ooh, child. That's awesome. 
You're not a child. You're an adult woman. Sorry. I get half credit. Wow. Half credit. See, I don't know. Colossus. I did not know that. I don't remember who Colossus is. Or if I'm saying that correctly. Darn. It is a nip. It's a boob. It's a breast. It's a booby. It's a titty. I'm just kidding. Damn, I didn't say that. This is how my lives are run. This is who I am. I don't know how to be any other way. You crash out around 4.30ish. So you have like an hour to go. Oh shoot, I'm supposed to be counting. Oops. Hold on, wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ten, twelve. He's your favorite X Men. Oh, now I know. So I'm doing a visible and invisible decrease. I'm gonna show you guys how I do the invisible decrease. So to do the invisible decrease, I'm going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then repeat that. Yarn over into the next stitch. Yarn over into the front loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're gonna have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over. Pull through all three, and you just did your decrease. Yay! Awesome! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> and your son yells at you for staying up all night. That's fun. He's over here parenting you and stuff. Like, go to sleep, mom. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> Moving over closer to where I'm supposed to be. My hands go off camera often. My hands wander. Wandering hands. My kiddo has told me to go to sleep before. She's like, Mommy, go to sleep. I'm like, okay. And then I stay up. Two, four, six. No one's going to tell me when to go to sleep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mine's nine, so there's this authority hierarchy in our lives where I'm the one that says no to him. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then two more. Did I do that right? I always have to recount two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep. It's a thing, though. He just cares about you and wants you to make sure you sleep regular hours. But seriously, and nobody can tell me when to go to sleep, okay? Just saying. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, you know that song? Hold on. They have Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing a DC character in the new movie called Black 
Adam. <gasps> Black Adam. Sorry. I mean, yeah. Yes. Yes, they do. Do you guys remember those songs from the Sesame Street? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah, it's right here. You heard Kelly's voice? Oh, because she auto-played? <gasps> that's so funny. I have to tell her that's so funny. This is the macrame we did today on Kelly's Live. It was my first time doing macrame. And I liked how it turned off. I actually, I uh, re-fixed uh, it after the live because I didn't like how it looked after the live, but I fixed it. Yeah, I mean, that happens all the time. All of the time to me. Oh wait, what am I doing? Counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can I have to count like that all the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My favorite Al Pacino movie. Hold on. My. Yeah, Scarface is a good movie. I think I would say Scarface because I can't think of any other movies he's in right now because I'm having a brain fart. But any gangster movie. One, two, three, four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Oops, did I mess up somewhere along the line? Probably. Not paying attention. The Godfather. That's true. He's in the. He's in the Godfather. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Decrease. One, two, three, four. Because I'm trying to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's a decrease. Okay. Yeah, there was a decrease. Oops. I have seen Friday the 13th, but it's been a long, long time. So long ago. I don't really remember the movie. Maybe I blacked it out. I don't know. Three, four, nine, six, seven. Nine. 
10, 11, 12. I'm supposed to have 13, 14 stitches in one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I lost a stitch along the way, but that's fine. Because there's one stitch left, I'm just gonna single crochet and not do any decreasing. But ideally, you want to have the right number of stitches. But I should still have um, 78, according to that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 20, 33, 2, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 68, 4, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78. Yeah, I have 78 stitches. Yay! Why can't you watch scary things? And then I am almost done with the second sweater, Crystal. You better get on that ball, girl. <laughs> I know. I'm over here doing this when I should be doing that. You could do this, or you could do that. You could do it with this, or you could do it with that. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. You're here. Something's wrong with us. <laughs> okay. So. Round 32, fight, fight. No, round 32, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to single crochet and one in the next 11 and then do a decrease over the next two. Shall we? Get down, sit by, do a round. Never look back, could you cry? If you saw me crying, I'm supposed to be counting, but I didn't count anything. Oops. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then decrease. I'm going to sleep really good tonight because I am getting a sleepy. Are you guys sleepy yet? What time is it where you are right now? 9 out pro, like chronicles here 2 4 6 8 and 11 Did you guys hear that a loud crack noise that was me breaking my hand And then I go like Nope Okay, good. You didn't hear that, but it was loud for me. Yeah. Okay. Decrease. So what time is it for you guys? So I'm doing 11 single crochet and then decreasing. And over the leg. last two, next two. <laughs> Name that song. Yeah. So you saw that I had now.
feel like I gave the song away by saying yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, so you're right by me. You're close. Are you like in two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven? Are you in like northern Wisconsin? Are you in southern Wisconsin? Oh, my internet just like took a. I want to say that my internet just went down in the dumps. Oh no. Crazy internet. Hi, Ursula. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hi, Kelly. Crystal, go to sleep. This is what I'm making. It's a boo. Couldn't see what I was making. Oh, I squished it. It's a booby. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here, awake and stuff? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. That's hilarious. Y'all walked in together too. What? How? How? I know, right, little nipply. Sorry, I wasn't pinching it. I just cleaning it off because the fuzzies from here got onto there. I'm not being weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why are you up? Yeah, why are you up, Kelly? Exactly. Why are you awake? Let's 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 focus on her, not me. <laughs> yep. Susan has been talking about um your sweater and she is making it and she's being very diligent with it and she's on to the second one I have some I have proof I can scroll up right here um where is it right here I'm almost done with my second sweater and she told me I need to get in get on the ball and that's where we're at. You fell asleep with the television on. Welcome to the night crew. We we are the night owls united. Woo. Tomorrow's 
2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then a decrease, decrease. So that was round 32, and we're going to round 33. I'm treating this as a tutorial, so I'm going to chapter it out. Good grief. We should all be in bed except for Ursula. <laughs> we will sleep when we die. We might die because we don't sleep though, David. You know? I'm just saying, it's not wrong. I mean, it's not untrue. Four, so I'm going to be for round 33, single crocheting in a single crochet in the next 10 and then decreasing over the next two. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Yup. Per two, four, six, eight, ten, and then a decrease. Super random. I guess the title kind of threw people off. Yeah, the trolls are sleepy. By they're sleeping. They don't have. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Did I do that wrong? Two, four, six, eight. Sure did. I decreased before my time. Look, hi, Chris. How you doing? See? Two, four, six, eight, ten. And do. 10 and then do another decrease. Okay, you're good. No probs. I wonder. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. How are you doing, Chris? How are you? I keep having to recount because I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> Such a silly day, it's mine. No. Six people. That's the most I've had all night. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm doing good. Oops. Hello, Rudy. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a basket. It's a boob. How shocking, right? I just... Here we have it. All right, I'll talk to you later, Kelly. Let's just flip that over, hide that up. Two, four. Does 66 make you think of 91? No, but it does when you tell me if it does, then it does make me think of 91. Ah, 
comfy, cozy cotton definitely frays up a little bit more than I would like it to. Where was I? Where was I for real? Ooh, I think I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. This yarn is messing with me. I thought you were going to sleepies. Yeah, it's a boob. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All the thumbs, all of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And decrease into the last two. This is hard to see. A baby pacifier so the original pattern that I made using this the original pattern I designed this is actually of course um, for a friend that teaches lactation so technically you're not wrong it's like a baby pacifier she doesn't teach she doesn't you know put the baby on it but she teaches the, you know, the hamburger, you know, you, you guys, if you breastfed, you guys, uh, kind of the lactation consultant kind of goes over that, but, um, it's a knitted knocker, but it's also can double as a, what did I just say? That for lactation consulting. I'm uploading a tutorial, so I've got another 10 minutes, then I've got to watch the tutorial to put it in timestamps. I thought when I saw you were live that that it was a mistake. Yeah, this is a mistake, though. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, um, I went live yesterday, too, and I made this on my live. This is needle felted. So I went live yesterday and kind of did the same thing, and they were all here. Susan was here uh keeping me company yesterday it it was a weird i don't know i'm a night owl i get really like i don't really sleep often so yeah <laughs> These are also, so, I mean, maybe a link or you could Google it too. Um, so you know how, um, so this month, I don't know if this is worldwide, but in the US right now, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I figured um, I would, share my knitted knocker it's crocheted but they call them knitty knockers they're breasts so women who've had mastectomies which is the removal of your breast tissue because of breast cancer they um sometimes people make these for them and they insert them so that they can have you know the look of being full in the you know chest area still so what I did was I designed a pattern. 
and um, I was going to find a good reputable organization to just put this pattern on my site and then donate that money at the end of the month whenever I get a sale for the pattern. So that's what I'm planning to do with that. I'm going to make them in different sizes. So the different sizes you stop increasing at a certain amount of diameter. But yeah, I thought I'm a night owl, but I guess compared to you, I'm not really a night owl. But that would mean hubby goes to sleep with the chickens. He goes to sleep early and gets up early. <laughs> uh, do you guys have chickens? Or is that a saying? Like, goes to sleep with the chickens means goes to sleep alone. Unless you guys have chickens. So, I just finished round 33, and I'm going to go to round 34. Right now. Moving along there. Yeah, it's weird for me to be up right now. It's like 3.30. I mean, it's not 3.30. It's 3.06. So, for round 34... I'm going to single crochet into the next nine and then decrease over the next two. Do you guys have uh, neighbors that have roosters too? Yeah, a lot of people in your area probably. Two, four, six. Chickens are a lot of work. To maintain though. Two, four, six, eight. I'm supposed to do nine. Oh, it's a uh, ten oh six AM. Yeah, you need breakfast and Yeah, I'll see you later. I can't wait for the tutorial. It's gonna be awesome. You know. Two, four. Two, four, six. Eight. Nine. What are you gonna have for breakfast? If you if you know then you know. No, no roosters allowed here. We are on a big property but too close to other houses to have a rooster. But about fifteen minutes away from us, we have a small holdings hobby farms and with chicken and roosters. That's pretty cool though. Do you guys buy their your eggs from there? Three Wait, I can't count. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Just double checking because I dropped some a stitch last round back. Looking forward to sunny side up days on homemade bread, toasted. Ooh, homemade bread. Hey, and good coffee. Mmm, that sounds good. Mm hmm. I would I love some good coffee. My someone in my family, and I don't know who, lost the cup that holds the strain the, the the coffee filter. They lost the coffee filter holder, whatever that's called. Ooh, ooh, I'm just kidding. So yeah, someone lost the coffee filter cup and I haven't had coffee in like a month, but I buy the iced coffee that they sell in our stores and that's been working, but it's been sad, deprived even, four, six, eight, nine.
I wonder if she's still here. Kelly, Kelly, are you there, Kelly? Can you hear me, Kelly? Ursula's asking you a question, Kelly. Are you there? I figured if she's like left me running, she'll hear me trying to talk to her. Two, four, six. Oh yeah, you have a French press, right? I feel like I've seen this thing on your lives. You have a French press. Two, four, six. Uh, two, four, six, eight, and it's supposed to be nine. I had a French press once. It gets, uh, it's good, and then eventually you have to replace that filter. So, four, six, eight, nine. Ooh, did you hear Yarning for a Smile? Kim is going to do an interview with the author of um, Pray Knit, Pray Share to today around 3. PM our time, Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what that is for you. That's like 12 hours from now. But she has it on her, um, her, uh, she has it on her notifications right now, I believe. Yeah, I don't know if you want to, like, I don't know, put it on your community tab or something. I don't know. If you want. If, if you want, I like, <laughs> to say, I must laugh out loud when you say French press. I'm like, why must it be called something else? No, plunger's fine. Yeah, you could post them on my Facebook. Yes. You should also, well, I'm, I don't know if you want to like post them like where, oh, I'm Granny Square stuff that way. But, you know. You don't want anyone copying you or nothing like that. Because people be stealing ideas around here. I'm just saying. Wink, 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 wink. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's no room for plagiarism here. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I'd love it if you posted them on my Facebook. I would love that so much. Yeah. Oh my god, Crystal Roger, the smaller one is really cute. I didn't read that part, but I read that part now. Two, four, six, eight, nine. It just amuses me that so many things have a different word in US than in RSA. It's it is, right? It's so funny. It is. But I mean, also, we got conquered by the English. So we have, and not the Spanish, but you know, just the English. So we have all these weird traditions and things too. It's, ugh. I just finished round 34 and I'm moving on to round 35, which is just me going down and decreasing. I'm just stating it like a tutorial, you guys. I don't care if they steal it. Ah. Ah. Um, Ursula, oh, I'm Granny Square. Do you have... Hold on, let me say what I'm doing before I do it. I'm going to single crochet one in the next eight, and then I'm going to decrease, decrease over the next two. So, Ursula, do you have a, like, a Facebook page or place? There's nothing to steal. Hey, you know what? People, if they get inspiration from you, I love it, you know? Just give the person credit. Two, four, six. That's all, you know? 
there's no room for plagiarism or stealing here. Just give each other credit. We're credit to two, two, four, six, eight, and then a decrease over the next two. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Who do you appreciate um, in your life? Who do you appreciate? Just kidding. Two, four, six. Wisconsin. I told you I'm in Illinois, right? Chicago. And you're with Wisconsin. I have a Facebook page. It's a private page. 1.7k strong in the group. Nice. Hey, that's impressive. That's really impressive. It takes time to grow that many people. Content creators can post a video link on Friday. If anybody shares share a picture of what they made, I share it on Monday live streams. Oh, Susan. Susan. Did you read that? You read that? It's right there. It's right, it's right there. You can share it on her. Can she share it on yours too? So if you read it, okay, if a content creator posts a picture of whatever they made in the group, then I point it out on Monday. It's a free self-promotion. A A Oh, let me see. If I I'm not even in my own live stream. Let me see. I'm going to go into my live stream and then I'm going to go to now that going. Give me a sec. Go to oh you don't have your hey Ursula. You don't have your links in your about page like your facebook group no way no crystal i think facebook took over and started promoting it because i had no idea why it grew so fast i did not do anything to promote the group i did not really want such a big group mm. well man you have it now It was meant to be a place where people who are on the YouTube channel can post what they make. Well, um, is it under Owen? Hi, Samoan. Welcome back. It'll be fine. But yeah, Susan, please share it on mine. I would not mind this one bit. I would love it. I want to see it, you know, that way I can see it. Two, four, six, eight. Ursula, Ursula, your, uh, yeah, I went to your about page on your, your channel right now, and I didn't see your, uh, Facebook link, that's why I was saying it, because maybe I want to go on there and post something, you know, some self-promotion, some shameless self-promotion. Is this a group for yarners? Yes, it's a group for yarners. Sorry. Are you going to become a yarner? Crochet. What gave it away at Simone Watcher? Huh? <laughs> you cheeky. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> mm. So if you buy yarn, you can come. 
but if you don't buy yarn you can't come it's exclusive so y'all yeah. two four six eight i keep forgetting what i'm doing because i'm talking i think am i in the club i don't know i don't know man i mean you're cool enough to be in the club I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to crochet I wish Ooh, that's nice Friday link That would be cool Yeah And that's so funny because I do my Friday lives every Friday anyway That's fun do a lot of the people on your regular on your youtube channel do they uh are they uh in the group let me fix my camera so i just finished yeah anyone can Okay, so let me read chat because it went up a little. I guess I'm gonna have to buy some yarn. Wait, I already have some. You have yarn? Why do you have yarn? What do you do with your yarn? Am I in the club? Well, if Granny, if OM Granny Square says you're in the club and you're welcome, then you can go. If she says yes. <laughs> if I went down this path, I wonder what, what, what I would make. I do wonder what you would make. So yeah, she says, and I did read that. Christy, you can post any video or notification of a live stream on a Friday. It's called hashtag Friday link. It's free self promotion. A. I would like, I would make a life size juggernaut. Oh, that would be cool. Anyone can be in the club who can tolerate yarn slash crochet. Linda Simpson posts a video every Friday, for instance. Nice. I just like to watch in the needle and hook thingies. It's relaxing. I watch and chat and eat popcorn. Ah, you're eating popcorn right now? It's funny. Because Facebook promotion blah, 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 words. Because Facebook promotes the group, I ask those who join just because I'm interested. If they're subscribed and then they become aware of the channel and join. I I would love to join these. I am on round 36. It's another decrease. We're just decreasing. Next round is going to be single crochet seven, decrease, single crochet six, decrease. It just keeps decreasing until we have six remaining stitches. It's time. This time it's payday. A. Payday. But yeah, how do I find you? Is it just under your name? Prop. I mean, I think I've seen, because I have Kelly on Facebook and I've seen her. Um, I think you guys are connected, like your profile profile. So I could probably find it like that. Does someone watch Ben David and my husband love whatever we go to take my crochet with? Whenever we, wherever we go, we take my crochet with. Yep, I'll bet you, I bet it goes with you everywhere because you have to. He met me with my love for knitting and crochet, so I guess he tolerates it. Oh, that's awesome though. Like as long as he supports it too, like it's really nice. My husband supports my crocheting. So I'm single crocheting one into the next seven, and then I'm decreasing over the next two. Okay, so it's the same as your channel name. Got it. Let me see if I can find you right quick.
Hmm. Oh, I'm granny square 1.7 K three post. Okay. I found it instantly. There. Here we are. I'm pinning it. Joining the group now. It's asking, are you subscribed to the Yes, I am. Does it matter if you are not? I'm just in. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Why do you crochet with me? Oh, it means a lot, you know? Well, I'll, I'll, answer, I'll answer this in a bit. I need to... <laughs> I have to think about that. Why do I crochet? It's relaxing. Last question, how to crochet? Ooh, my grandmother. Hold on, I need capital letters. What are the group rules? Be kind. Yeah, I agree. No hate speech. If you're bullying, mm, that's gonna be hard. No, I'm just kidding. Promotion or spam. Respect everyone's privacy. Yeah, yeah. YouTuber Friday night. Okay. Submit. Oh my god! I hope she accepts me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Doom, doom. Hello, Rudy. Welcome back. Put them right there. One, two, three, four. Five. So I didn't have to. I'm too nervous to join. Dude, really? 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 Thank you for approving me. Thank you. like so silly I wonder does so she said I'll prove you because it's no problem you can like whatever crochet creations the pearls post yeah oh I'm certified <laughs> certified quality oh my god <laughs> hi joy I sleep. I do. I do. When do you sleep? Yeah, if you guys don't see me later today, you know what's up. You know? You know what's up. I got a hankering for crocheting and I decided to make a something it's in the title of the video two four six seven decrease do 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 do, do. oh well, i'm glad you got to sleep yes yeah, Simone, you're an honorary crocheter congratulations welcome to the crochet community we drink tea coffee we have crochet hooks we knit we make things now you have to learn the craft all of the crocheting you're consuming you might just 
learn the crafts without knowing it. It might happen. Unless if you start crocheting, you post what you make too. My husband said that he would make start to crochet and make blankets with plain stitches so that it's just my this. Yeah. That's true. Simone, you can make like dude, what if you did start crocheting? Wow. Wouldn't that be something though? It's like, oh no, Samoan is crocheting and now he's doing He's making just these amazing things. Who knows? Who knows, man? <laughs> I finally understand Miguel's name. Who knows? Like, who knows what's gonna happen? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's closing. Now. I am moving on to round 37. Like a strippy blanket or stripey, I can read words, like a stripey blanket. The Crocheting Samoan. <laughs> that would be a dope name, honestly. That would be awesome. I don't think anyone has that name. Like a stripy blanket with one double crochet rose. I learned how to crochet with chains and double crochet. Yep, that's how I learned to crochet too. I learned the double crochet stitch. That's the first stitch I learned. And then making the granny square stitches is super easy because I learned the double crochet stitch is my first stitch. Crystal, once you start making the sleeves on these sweaters, you just can't stop till it's done. That, yep because the sleeve is so much smaller. I have two of the panels. <laughs> Where's my, where is it? I have my very square panel right here. There it is. <laughs> I'm reaching. The crochet Samoan. Don't look at it. Turn away. This is what it look. This is what one of my panels looks like, and I like. I'm doing the other one. I don't know. I love it. I I figured, I'll make one sweater that reminds me of fall, and then I'll make one sweater that reminds me of winter. Like a fall and a winter sweater. I love. It. I love it. Don't you love it? Sorry. I just love the granny square. It's just so pretty. The second sleeve is the hardest. Baby, you know. This is why I gotta go to sleep because I'm acting weird. I, I don't act like this. No, I do. This is just easy. I'll put this right here, the corner, so you can see the corner while I'm crocheting. Right there. Just the tip right there. And I have my macrame. I don't know if you saw this. Ursula and Joy and Susan. But me and Kelly did some macrame today. This is what happened. Replay. Okay, what was I doing? Hold on. Did I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, yeah, I'm doing six single crochet, one in the next six, and then decreasing. That's why I have it on the screen. I do, I have the other side, it's completely done. And I'm trying to decide what color I want to be the connecting color. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a Aaron color like the similar to this color but then it's just I, yeah I have a lot of the, what I tell you I don't know why but when I, whenever I see a granny square it draws my attention and calms me down oh 
that's really sweet though because you like find it calming to do it is really calming like i can do a granny square like i timed myself making one of the round um rounds i guess we call it a round because you're working in the round of one of my granny squares and i'm like dude it's just so like you get into like a groove when you do it and you just mindlessly do it it's really cool one two three four five six and then a decrease I do have the other side down. I was there, but to me, that was last night, 12 hours ago, about 10 p.m. last night. When I was a child, and I would visit people with my mom, and if I could see a granny square blanket in the lounge, it calmed me down. Oh, I could imagine you, imagine you as a little kid. That's interesting. You know what's cool about what you just said, though, is like your your future. Like, I mean, I don't I don't know if you consider it, it's your career, but you're doing this for a living, and it's like you're helping people learn how to do stuff, right? And you're teaching, and it's amazing. And then to like think forward in time, you looked at granny squares and it calmed you down that's kind of really cool if you think about it you know it was like it sent me a message that there is a grandma here somewhere and she will understand my anxiety and she won't be harsh mm -hmm. on the show roseanne there was there is a granny square blanket over the couch yep there is a that that's yep i remember that blanket that blanket there's actually a pattern for it somewhere i don't know where but i know that there's a pattern i had similar memories on granny square my mom crocheted blankets for everyone mm. you guys are killing me i'm not gonna cry i'm not crying that's weird i don't cry easily stop it you're making me feel things no, I'm not crying. That's weird. Ew. That's cute. That is like a really nice memory for everyone involved in this conversation. Two, four, six. Am I keeping you from chaptering your video, Ursula? I don't want to, like, distract you. That's what I need to do with these videos. I'm, I need to start chaptering them. Probably do that tomorrow. Catch up on doing that. Because that way people can skip ahead. Dude, Samoans love Rasta beanies. I could do those. You could do those. Those, and they look really great too. Two, four. Rasta. It's a Rasta. Jamaican. Jamaican hats. Jamaican flag. That'd be dope. I'm nearly done. Two, four, five, six, and then a decrease. I think around this time I'm going to start stuffing next round. 
So this round is over and I'm moving on to round 38. Do, do, do. Ah, thanks, Rudy. You knew where I was going with that. You're not keeping me from anything. I got up to make my son breakfast every. Or I get up to make my son breakfast every day at 8 a.m. and then came to see how far the video was. Oh yeah, because it takes a minute to export too, right? It takes a while. It was going. I say a minute, but I mean a minute in my slang is like it takes a, a long time. Five, six. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing five. Came to see how far the video was exporting, and then I'm done, and then I started uploading. Oh, that's awesome. When will I get to 100? I'm actually decreasing. Oh, I just yawned. The first time tonight, I yawned. Um, decreasing. So I'm actually on 36 stitches when I finish this round. So what I'm doing is I'm single crocheting in the next five, and then I'm going to decrease over the next two. A British in a British minute and Amer an African night though <laughs> you what's the British minute one two three four five this is not a beginner tutorial that I'm doing here because I'm just crocheting and saying what I'm doing. Five, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is like, how's your internet? You usually. I feel like you're, when you stream, you have good internet. Four, five. I feel like I freeze sometimes. Uh, several times during this live, I froze up and had to reset my internet, which was not great, but you know, it happens. Can't help that. I just heard a video game sound. Interesting. Like an achievement unlocked. Xbox sound weird. I have fiber in the steam yard. Needs a strong signal, so you need to be close to the router. So I stream from the very next room from the router. Router in lounge, and I'm in the first bedroom. Yeah, me. I'm right next to the router, but I still had issues, which means this internet routers garbage <laughs> like how am I going to be sitting next to the internet and I have internet blackout so so fail I can't be streaming from the end of the passage here it's too far and it will freeze up yep I get that but um the good internet's on the other side of the house but I decided to set up my yarn area in the living room so yeah that was not great planning on my part but it happened so here we are <laughs> like i don't know to i need to figure that out though and now i am done the rounds are getting super faster because i'm getting to the end i'm gonna start filling this with fiber grab a lot of ooh, hello grab a cloud 
I'm going to separate the words and put stuff right there. That way I remember because I didn't put start stuffing. So I'm writing it in there now. And mm -hmm. 39. So I'm starting to stuff. Oh, this is so fluffy. Oh my goodness. Sorry, that's just good hair. If you guys could feel this, it feels so soft and fluffy, like a cloud. But if I grabbed the cloud, it would erupt into rain. How fluffy. It feels so nice. Do you guys ever just squish your yarn? Like, squish, squish. Squish, squish. Oh, that's a boob. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry. How inappropriate of me. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? <laughs> what am I watching? This is weird late night stuff. This is not the weirdest thing I've seen on a late night anything. People get really weird during like the times when others are sleeping. It's just so weird. Stuff happens on YouTube. So I'm just stuffing it and just trying to fill it all up right like my streaming space is literally just the end of a table about 60 by 60 inches in the view of, out the window not big at all yeah mine is a uh you know a coffee table like the fold tables i'll show you one give me a sec yeah mine is the same it's small but you know no one knows People think they need to have this extravagant setup to stream and record and be a YouTuber, but you don't, and you can still do well. You got what you got, you know? Mm hmm And it works. I mean, look at all of the stuff you're doing. You're doing amazing things, you know? Let me move. I'm over here off camera. Let me get into the camera angle <laughs> that I need to be to show my hands. You ever do that? You're recording and then you realize you look down at your video and you're like, uh, that's blurry. Uh, that's not even in focus or on the screen at all. That happens to me often. I'm just like a mess. Ow. All right, I'm just going to hold this. Hold this stitch, please. Yeah, I'm in the living room, and I'm using a little table. You always have sound issues. Oh, no. Oh, no, Samoan. Why do you have sound issues? I use my phone in the, as a camera. You know, you know, that's that's amazing, dude. Sorry, I just called you, dude, Ursula. Sorry, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome, though. Oh, I'm breathing, and then I wheezed a little bit when I breathed in. You know that little like nasal breathing in and wheezing like ew, that's nasty i'm sorry yeah you don't need expensive camera and stuff to record i mean come on my husband has an iphone and the iphone is amazing like i recorded my michael's video that i posted a little bit ago um that i'll link right here I'll link it right here. <laughs> um, 
and I used his iPhone, and iPhone's amazing. Let me scroll. Chat jumped. I might be too lazy to be a podcaster. Dude, you're a good podcaster, though. You're already a podcaster, sir. Too lazy to fix it. Wait, what? Oh, your sound issues. Gotcha. Phones have great cameras and sensors. Yup. Yeah, like the the zoom in of a phone or the the what is that called autofocus of a phone is amazing excuse me i just burped i'm sorry so sorry um when i record a tutorial i use plain old earphones for a cell phone and then that improves my sound yeah you do have really good sound quality you should listen to some of her videos, um, Samoan. Uh, she basically, you could find her on Granny Square and then search in her, her, uh, hold on. <laughs> ah, do you want better? I actually have you open. Listen, I mean, you probably actually have her. I don't, I think, I think you do. Cause she knows your name is David. So I feel like you guys know each other. I'm watching on a tablet and watching Ursula set in, in sleeve on my phone. <laughs> Multitasking, Susan. Oh my gosh, you're always breathing into the mic. I feel that's funny, Zach. I feel like one has to do with what you can do. Yep. Yeah. And then you can afford more expensive equipment later if you wanted to. Okay, okay. Yeah, I figured you were because. See how thick it is? It's like a... Sorry, I don't mean to, like, make anyone uncomfortable here. It's like a wheel. A boob wheel. I have to make it more... round. This feels weird doing this. Let me take this over here and do that. Awkward. Yeah, yeah, she has really good sound on her stuff, so. There's something to the headphone thing, though. If you can get a good headphone. Uh, headphones aren't that expensive. Sorry, I had to take that off camera, you know. It's impossible to make me, to make, uncomfortable, make me uncomfortable unless you are my mother-in-law. Oh, man. No. <laughs> All right, so what did I just do? Did I do that? Okay, let me check. So I did one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I am on round 30, No, sweetie, it does not make me uncomfortable. I know you're making this for good cause. Cool. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a perv. You know? You know. Let's put this right there. So I'm going to single crochet one into the next four. Which... Oops. This yarn can be very, uh, it breaks apart on you. Get it together, yarn. You have one job. Come on. As I get closer to sealing the top of this, it gets a little harder. To maneuver this yarn. Four. I have a whole cookie tote from MCD to myself right now, but I'm too lazy to get some milk. Cookie tote? Is that a, a cookie tote? Is like a a little thing container of cookies? I've never heard cookie tote before. 
I thought of a bag, like you got a big old bag of cookies. Like I think of a tote bag, which is big to me. You have that many cookies. I tell you the weather here is so, is so super. Totally overcast, quiet, birds chirping. Oh, that sounds so nice. Not hot, not cold. Perfect day for a walk without getting sunburned. Dude, that sounds so pretty. It's over here. It's 53 right now, which is not bad. The way that, yeah, the way that amigurumi is always hard toward the end. It really is. You have to, like, mess your hands up to do it sometimes. Like, I hold it like this sometimes. Just to get the stitches correctly on. The, yeah. Whatever I was saying and make it make, it make sense. I don't know. bag full of cookies oh my chat jumped hard y'all wrote really fast hold on how do you keep up with chat when you're doing this man i saw where darla posted a booby beanie a booby beanie sorry a booby beanie booby beanie booby mcdonald's you don't have that bag full of cookies at hook that yarn oh oh you're talking about those big towers that you get from mcdonald's with the little window so you could look at your cookies like a zoo i've seen those a booby a booby beanie for a baby say that 10 times fast a booby beanie for a baby booby, booby. Oh, yeah. i i've seen those so that the baby puts the beanie on and it looks like a boob is on its head and when it's breastfeeding it just looks like the mom is you know boob Sorry. sounds really nice it does sound really nice the weather needs this weather needs hot coffee and oh the kitchen we're going to the kitchen we're traveling yeah Y'all, I mean, California. At least you're getting a little bit of a cool down because I know it's hot over there. California. Let me see. Let me see. It's finally heating up here. It's spring, but not rid of winter yet. But the last two days was so cool. Did you guys get any part of the hurricane? in the area or where did the hurricane start i don't even think it started by y'all i've heard something about you guys are getting weather but that's probably not true i don't know yes it's 46 degrees here tonight 43 in ohio 53 in chicago So we're basically like we have around the same temperatures. I'm a little bit warmer, but it doesn't feel warm. So that's blurry. Why don't you guys tell me I was so blurry? <laughs> You're fake. Like... That's good. I'm kidding. I'm not blaming you. I need to make sure I'm looking at the camera <laughs> I need glasses that's funny you need glasses so you just assume that that's how it looked but my doctor's on vacation until the first I need to get me some new glasses too my glasses broke um, a while back but we're not talking about that and I'm gluing them together I don't know why I mentioned that Although I can definitely get new glasses. I just need to go get the new glasses. It's called procrastinating. Mm. Mm hmm. That sounds delicious. So I'm single crocheting one in the next four and decreasing over the next two. Just reminding myself.
<laughs> I have a black belt in procrastinating too. So, so bad at it, not procrastinating. Great at procrastinating, bad at not procrastinating. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, Ursula, Crystal, and I are neighbors. We are neighbors. You're just a little... Ow, I just punched the computer again. See, that's how close the computer is to me, because I can punch it. Um, you're northwest of me. But not too far. I feel like you're you're close to me. I just go visit you and Ernie at the same time. Arnie. We would really have to calculate how close, but I feel like she's the um she's located in the state above me so we're technically neighbors yeah i know you don't procrastinate you get it done but i do procrastinate <laughs> i have new glasses coming in, in the mail next week i just i just took a night exam weeks ago that's awesome did you get to get a design you like Oops. I made a mistake. Type round 40. I'm, wow, I can't read. 51. I guess I'm getting tired. I'm like, I said 41. About 400 miles? Nah. -uh. We're 400 miles from each other? Well, I'm in Chicago. So whatever area you're in, and then Chicago. Google Maps, Google Maps. Ooh, I need to drink water. My throat is so dry. Yummy. This is the breast pillow. No. Oh, this yarn. I love it. It's so soft, but it's so catchy. You guys see that? Mm hmm. Yeah, I feel like I I do want to order some glasses online one day too. And then when I ask for my prescription, they always leave something out. Almost like they don't want me to order glasses online and they want me to go through them. Last time I didn't have the diameter between my two eyes. It was like, really? Why even give me my prescription if you're not going to give me the whole prescription? Wasting my time, basically. This is cozy, cozy cotton, mochaccino, I believe. Comfy, cozy cotton blend, mochaccino, that pretty brown mochaccino color. Oh, we're 319.7 miles from each other. Whoa. How far is that in relative distance? <laughs> like, how many um, hours away do you think that is driving? I'm coming to the end. 
trying to massage it. I kind of love how this, this, this part right here is coming out. It's like a do 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 do. I love this color, right? I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh. Excuse me. I'm drinking this and it's very bubbly. Dark Morello cherry with pomegranate. St. Pellegrino. Do you guys have these over there? These are like sparkling waters. Do you guys have these in your area? I feel like they carry those most places. I don't know if you guys like um, sparkling water though. Not a lot of people do. Rudy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm on round one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm on round 40 and I will be doing one single crochet in the next three and decreasing over the next two stitches keeps catching the stuffing if i was born in the year 31 so my grandma was born in like 38 i believe and she was 82 so Probably like 90, no, wow, well, I just added way too many. I'm not good at math. <laughs> it got really bad. Your voice suits my weather. So soft. It's because I'm tired though. I'm usually loud. Coffee done, toast done, eggs nearly done. I'm almost done too. Oh yeah, Susan's crocheting. I'm crocheting. Oh, I'm Granny Squares making breakfast. She's almost done with it. And then, how long is 560 something miles? It's 560 miles. Haha, -ha, you're not gonna catch me up. So, doing three single crochet and then decrease. Get this out here. Eggs done. How'd you guys do um, homemade toast, homemade bread? What kind of bread? You can make any kind of bread. So did three and decrease, three and decrease. Marmalade on toast. Mm hmm. Marmalade's like jam, right? Is what kind of is it, right? It's like a sweet um, fruit situation. I make pen popo, pan popo, like that's bread, right? Pane popo. Because P-A-N is bread in Spanish. I smell your breakfast or so. <laughs> Stop. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That does sound good though. Rio Lady Marmalade. Kitchen, kitchen, ya, ya, dear. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I need to Google it. Google. Hey, Google. What's that bubble? Hmm. Marmalade is made of oranges. Okay, I'm back at my office and enjoying this breakfast. Very good. Did you do anything to your coffee? Like creamer? Is it just black? Trying to smooth it out. And then that's round 40 is done. And then I'm gonna move on to round 41. Which, 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 which? I would also be soft-spoken at your time in the morning. Yeah, I can't be so loud. People are sleeping. <laughs> Cause it's work at 11 a.m. Oh my goodness. It's a four hour live. Jeez. People are not going to watch this. <laughs> They're like, four hour live? Uh, nope. S scroll along. So I'm single crocheting one in the next two, and then I'm decreasing over the next two. So we're about done almost. Maybe I could finish it within the confines of four hours exactly. Hold on, let me, let me go faster. Oh, I just messed up because I tried to go faster. Scroll fast, go faster. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I really picked up the speed, but it's not really picking up the speed because I keep messing up and I can't get in the stitch. Maybe I should chill. I'm chilling out. I'm calming down. I don't know why I read that in the Dos Equis voice. I don't often drink coffee, but when I do, it's Dos Equis. <laughs> Okay, Ursula, I have to, like, send you the commercial I just did in my head. It's just, oh my gosh. Uh, there's an American commercial. I don't know if you've seen this. It might not be everywhere. There's a commercial with a guy with a white beard, and he he's really, really suave. And he's, like, I feel like he's Hispanic-ish, but I could be wrong. But he has this beer. Yeah, it's true. They might watch it more because the booby. But there's this beer. It's called Dos Equis, two X's in English. And the catchphrase for the beer is, or the commercial always is like, I don't usually drink beer, but when I do, it's Dos Equis. And then that's the whole commercial, basically. And it, it's funny, and I guess we love it. I don't know. Dos Equis. Yeah. Oh, you wrote it in there. Ursula, when you have the chance, Google Dos Equis commercial. <laughs> How random. I know, but, but that sounds good. Cream and sugar and coffee. And... Oh, no, I have two minutes to finish. I've seen it, I've seen it. You've seen the Dos Equis commercials? Yup. That's what that reminded me of, the way she stated that. That was cute. It's cute. No, I was not born in 56. Do you think I look 50, like I was born in 56? Cause dang, if I do, like that's a compliment, I think, or a not compliment. Is it a not compliment? Okay, okay, I'm on round 42, 
and that means I'm two rounds from completing this booby. I said booby. Oops. 42, single crochet one, invisible decrease over the next. Last night at Kelly's Live, when someone was making arroz con pollo, arroz con pollo, mm -mm -mm. I typed in that Denzel Washington makes it an equalizer too, because I've watched that meant that movie so many times, I immediately recognized it. Dude, I didn't even know. I didn't even know he made that in that movie, so now I have to look it up too. Because I did, I remember you guys were talking about that. Sorry, I call you dude. I mean it in a good way. You're my dude, you know what I mean? All good things, all good things. So what I'm doing is I'm single crocheting one, and I'm decreasing over the next two stitches. For the people at home. I look down for a second. I'm not reading the chat because I'm this yarn is catching again. I have to take it out. I don't like how that looks. Ew. This yarn remind like it's a worsted weight four, but it reminds me of a DK in the way that it's like it works up really thin compared to um, a real worsted. Let me read chat right quick because I I have. A damn skunk outside my door. No! Who, who, will Hook That Yarn make it to 100? I don't know. We'll find out in next episode. Sweater needs a few ends sewn in the second sweater is done. Oh yeah, I'm going to be sewing in ends, but I don't mind. Single crochet one. I do hate sewing a lot, but... It's a, it's a gonna be a cute sweater. I feel like it's worth worth it, you know? Not that you were saying you didn't think it was worth it. I'm just saying. Like, I breastfed my kids, but I tell you they need to teach you how because you don't, if you do it wrong, it hurts. It does, it does. That's why they have all those creams and stuff. But if done right, it's like heaven when the baby does not drink on time, it hurts. It's true, it gets really like, hard it's super painful i breastfed six kids susan oh my goodness <laughs> i know you did i did i breastfed twins at the same time so i get it too breastfeeding breakfast i almost read that as breastfeeding is done <laughs> I read breakfast. I read breakfast wrong. <laughs> That's how you know I'm tired. Look at me. Now enjoying coffee. Woo! You know? Yup. And that's, that's, look who can't read now. Listen, listen. It's getting late. I can't help it. I definitely want to learn sewing. You should. It's so you learn sewing by doing it though. That's a big money. That's big money for Samoans. You guys have a lot of sewing going on there. Equalizer three and Super Mario Brothers three. I love me some Super Mario. I see them as I see them as I go. Oh, you sew them as you go, right? I feel like that's what you meant. Look who can't read now. There's other letters in there. LOL. LOL. Dead face. LOL. Laughing. Dude, I'm so tired. 
It's four in the morning. It's four twenty. Sorry, it's four. Hmm. I so enjoyed this live. You guys keep me company this morning. I sure meant. I'll sure mention this on Friday in my live. Oh gosh, you're gonna mention this <laughs> in your live, all right? Oh no. It's like, hey, so I spent time with Crystal and she was crocheting a breast and then she squished it on camera. I guess. I'm trying to form the innards. This will be a big old booby. My bad. <laughs> How nervous I'm gonna feel. Friday, I'll be there for sure. <laughs> I can't. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's refreshing. Dude, I can't read, Susan. I can't read right now. What was I doing? I'm on round 42 and I'm single crocheting one and I'm being professional again. And I'm decreasing, decreasing. I'm decreasing my ability to read. I'm decreasing my ability to wake up at a proper time tomorrow. And I'm increasing my coffee consumption tomorrow too. Mm -hmm. I've been awake a, a while. By a while, I mean a long time. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. All of what I saw was good. You do it for a good cause, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. Aww. Stop. Get on a bashful. No. I can't type. I will never say anything bad about anybody on my lives. Oh no, I know. I know. I know you want. I know. Hello, Lauren. I'm rereading. I'm trying to do this and finish it up. I'm on my last decrease round in the next. Let me read chat right quick for myself. I bet it was delicious. I feel like the plunger method of making coffee just makes a nice rich cup of coffee. It's really good. And depends on the coffee you're using. And I'm sure you guys have some good coffee down there. Crystal, it's already tomorrow for you. You've traveled in time already, dude. Sorry, I'm going to call you. Is it okay if I call you dude? <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I just say dude. It just comes out of my mouth. You sure, Ursula? Felt my ears burning earlier. Oh my gosh. Mm, by the way, my friends call me Sue. Okay, Sue. Susan. Sue. Hey, Lauren. Saying hi to each other. Hey, Sue, if I may. <laughs> hey, Susan. Oh, Lauren's not doing that. Love you too, sweetie, Lauren. LOL. Hi, Ursula. Wait. Susan, you just, you already said hi to Ursula. Oh wait, okay, she said hi, so I'm I'm sleepy, tired. Uh, this coffee is really called Special Blend. It's special, so lovely. I'd rather drink tea any other than any other coffee. Mm. When you guys all drink tea, do you guys what do you like to drink? I like some your I like Yerba Mate, it's Japanese. Is it Japanese? It sounds like it is Japanese, or I'm too tired to remember. Okay, I'm moving on to the last, the last round. 
you guys the last round of the breast the last round first of all i used my strange humor although my ears really is my really my ear is really burning i managed to scratch inside it during the night mmm ow how wow now that was a lot of rhyming i don't know what happened there i just had like a rubus rubus tea there is that is i've had that tea it's good black tea with evaporated milk samoan you put milk in your tea interesting some some people do i've actually done that before with creamer so in this round i'm doing a decrease I'm decreasing over all of the stitches. Invisible decrease over two stitches. I should have rewrote that. That doesn't sound right. I'm just going to write in six invisible decrease. That That's that's silly. And I'm probably going to remove repeat and over the next. Mm, ah. Yeah. The way that was worded looked weird. Funky even. I don't have enough nail to do this much damage. So I reckon. I reckon. A spider crawled in there. It's the only logical. It's the only logical option. <gasps> Lauren, don't ever. <laughs> no, <laughs> that sounds horrible. That sounds terrible. Imagine a spider crawling into no. But if that did happen, apparently, if you submerge your head into water with only your ears, not like your whole head, you don't want to drown they'll like crawl out of your ear because they'll like try to find an escape route or they'll barrel they'll burrow themselves further into your brain so you don't want that at all either nothing sounds good about that ooh evaporated milk sounds great mm -hmm. it does eh? I like coffee I like tea I like all the hot drinks I, lo I love Lauren. She's cool and she has a great sense of humor. Yeah, she's always cracking me up when I'm in your lives and she's talking. And at Lauren, I was waiting for the video to upload to YouTube and saw that Crystal was live and could not believe my eyes. Yeah, I come on live sometimes in weird times. Weird times. Eensy weensy. Teeny weeny yellow polka dot. Go to sleep, Crystal. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Wait, I'm almost done. Let me finish this. Wait, what was I doing? Decrease. Pull through. Insert. Pull through. Yarn over and pull through. I did it. Oh no, I hate bugs. I woke up with a gnat in there once i freaked out you had an ant in your ear y'all are making me itchy Ah, uh, that sounds terrible i would freak out too i would freak out i would wear earplugs my whole rest of my life that i'm alive or i just drop a few drops in of water in the ear and they will come out i saw that on a 911 episode that see that's a good tip that's a really good tip. Hubby fool on caught a spider crawling over him in the night. Slapped it into the middle of next year and we found it dead next in, next to the bed. Well, you know what? At least you found it dead because it could have been that it just crawled away. And it just, you know, it crawled away and then you didn't see it for a few days. And then it comes back to haunt you. Does that ever happen to anyone? You think you killed the spider. But you were wrong. Rescue 911 was a good show. Yeah, it was. Oh no, we have a rare live and now we are causing you trauma. 
It would take a little more to cause me trauma. <laughs> but I might black this out for sure. No one, no one wants to talk about ear spiders. I can imagine. A baby gets laid in there and then... Like... Uh, what circumstance would that be interesting? Like you're at a party and then... You know how those poppers are... You know those like uh, party poppers where you have that little oval thing and there's a string and you pull it and then explosion of like streamers and stuff imagine that but spiders coming out of your ear at a party that's exciting too right that would that would be uh that's a way to enter a room i guess oh spiders they would definitely call you Spider Girl or Spider Woman or Spider Man if, if you're Samoan because you're the last man standing. <laughs> uh, it was so awkward. Like, I started my live, right? And then all that was in my live at the time were guys. And I'm like, okay, so um, we're going to make a boob. And there's only guys in the room. And I'm just like, uh, should I just end this live it's just a little awkward here <laughs> like, if y'all rewatch the, the beginning of it it's just like a it's a mess like a really awkward it's just weird so we're gonna make boobs today and there's only guys here so i guess that's what's gonna happen men like boobs I feel like they read the title and were like, oh, I guess this is where I'm going to hang out. <laughs> like, uh. I do, I do have, this is kind of a, well, this is a tutorial, I would say. Uh, but, um, I do have some tutorials. Hold on, I'm looking for scissors, but I can't seem to find any scissors. So I might just savagely cut this with my hands like I did the other night. Yeah, I do have tutorials. Um, my freestyle lives that I do on Fridays are kind of me freestyling tutorials without patterns. So I have three of those or four of those already. And then I have two tutorials that I made, like bath scrubbies. And then what else do I have? A hat tutorial, which is terrible. Don't watch that. And I'm work. I have a lot of patterns that I have to make into tutorials. It's a mess. It's a mess. I don't. I have way more patterns than I have time, is how I feel. And that's why I'm doing... This is a tutorial that I based... I'm basing... I have a pattern for it. So that's why I'm doing it. And if I didn't do it like in this style, I feel like I wouldn't do anything. Because I get a lot of crazy people in this house yelling all the time. So it's hard to do a tutorial. So this is... A double nipple? I don't know. There's two nipples now. The puckering from when you finish the round. I have to hide this. And I have my handy dandy large eye sewing needle. So I'm going to just use that really quick. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. But I bet you guys already know how to do this. But I'm just going to show you anyway. Because you're hanging out with me. Give me a sec. So I'm going in the front loops. Pulling it through. I'm just going to repeat that around. There's six stitches in this round. So just six times. Oops. See what I did there? I just got off cam. This is a trial and error situation because as you saw a second ago, I basically was like 
hey, I'm just going to take this over here and show you guys how to do it. <laughs> Terrible. But yeah. Tighten, tighten, tighten. I could just leave it like this. Double nipple. Anyways. So I tightened it like so. And I'm just going to put it through the hole. If I can put it through the hole. And just pull it through. Just pull it down. In hindsight, I should have just went straight down. This yarn is pretty good for this too. It's like brown, but it has hints of yellow for some reason, which kind of works, kind of works for me. I'm going to scroll back up so I can read the chat because I'm totally not looking. Where is it? Come on. Yeah. So that is it. Let me cut this. Actually, I kind of want to tie a knot before I do that. I don't want to like leave it all crazy. If it comes apart, that would be bad. So this is a, a cup size D. And then I guess I'll do like A, B, C, D, E, F. Nah, probably not all the ones above G or D because that sounds like a lot of work. Ooh, sorry. This is my boob. No, not my boob. This is a... I, can I start over? <laughs> can I reword that? This is the breast that I made. My, hey, I have to see if I can fix that. If you can share, you can just send me a message and then I could throw it up there too. But this is the boob that Crystal made. Ta da! This is what the back side looks like, which I'm kind of here for because it looks like a spiral. So I love, I kind of love that. Thanks. Let me read the chat really fast. Scroll up a little. Camera angle. To be fair, I like boobs. What? I'm going to put that up there because I did not read. I didn't say that. Men like boobs. Yep, that's, that's true. <laughs> Hold on. I have to scroll a little more. Uh, British. I'm British. That's a... I'm wrapped. Wait, what was this one about? That's why she taught me how to drive it. Okay. Your mom used to watch it. Okay, got you. Got you. Okay, she ever had a heart attack and needed me to drive her to the hospital. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is an oh, wow. I would drink some coffee and try to level myself out. Girl. <laughs> and yes, I'm the last man standing. <laughs> the last man standing. You have prevailed. Men like boobs. I'm here for it. Because men like boobs, he's here for it. Crystal, forgive me for asking. Yes, I answered that. I'll be fair. I like I like boobs. Boobs all around. <laughs> I can't even. It's It's alright, right? This is you meant. I'll post a picture of the sweater in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? You can send it to me, though. There was a request from Breastfeeding Network for knitting and crochet boobs recently. They had, yeah, they used these for educational purposes. Um, yeah. That's the original reason I made this, is a lactation consultant asked me for this. So I designed a pattern for her. Not everyone can get the camera angle right. Some people have fancy cameras, but it makes me feel like I'm watching them from the ceiling, giving me even vertigo. <laughs> and then I feel nauseous, so I can't watch that. Is mine a little nauseating too? Or is it, you said it's a good angle, so you're saying, yeah, it's good. That's why I wear my headphones when doing tutorials because it picks up only 40 inches of sound around me. Nothing further. Ooh. Start counting from zero to 
very pretty. I used to do that a couple of, oh, it's just scrolling. I used to do that a couple of times being off cam, but then I learned to look through the camera before starting every time and then it quickly be, yeah, I need to start doing that. That's a really good tip actually. Like you always have good tips. Good tips. I'm just kidding. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean it like. I'm, I'm sorry. She's never going to come back. <laughs> I quit. I quite like. I quite like how Kelly does her her production camera triple C. Dana does it similarly. I don't like the ceiling effect either. Yeah. My old neighbor of 85 will be here for his lunch at 12 noon. So he came on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So he's a widower. So I can help him out. Oh, that's really sweet, dude. Sorry. I mean, Ursula. Dude. <laughs> I can't see how I can share a picture on your Facebook. Oh, yeah. You could send it to me. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Very neat work. You know. <laughs> I'm glad you found that funny because uh, I was like worried about that. Um, nice, honey. Neat work. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here and chilling with me. What are you wrapped in? You're you're not you're so not wrapped. Stop that. Slap that wrist, girl. Still editing my video, dude. The life, the life of a YouTuber. Or my friend's video, I mean. Oh, wait, you're making your friend's video? That's nice of you. Ursula, my usual mess. Maybe I should wrap in a blanket. I can't focus today at all. Oh, my left that thing. Oh, look at that. The, those young hands. Beautiful. What, my hands? My hands are old hands. Stop it. Can you type 51? here dude let me now that I'm done doing this <laughs> I thought it and you said it not uh stop playing <laughs> oh, I don't remember I don't remember I don't want to say it you gotta rewatch it I guess no you can call me dude no worries <laughs> cool i'm the only one no i'm just kidding people don't realize how many hours go into editing and uploading and time stamping heck yeah you have to watch the whole video over and then you have to in youtube's weird because it'll you'll be watching your video pause it and then it'll start from the beginning so you have to keep moving the cursor to the spot you were just watching at when you timestamp. Good night, Susan. Yeah, Susan. Susan, you're at the same time I'm at. What are we doing here? We need we need to stop this. We stop meeting like this. Because you came to my live yesterday. My tattoo artist calls everyone dude and it makes me laugh. <laughs> it's cool. Cool, dude. I got something for you, actually. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 35. I can't do it. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, Let me see, how do I turn that banner off so it doesn't do that again? There, comments. I don't wanna type the letters, Crystal. Boom. Crystal, do, there. Do not talk nonsense, you have baby hands. Baby hands, baby hands, baby hands. Wait till you get my age and you'll appreciate your hands. I need lotion. It puts the lotion on its skin. Yeah, lotion me. My hands feel so 
right now from touching the yarn this whole time. Like a uh, dry. Mm-hmm. I have to keep making sure I'm not typing boob into my work. <gasps> Ooh. You know how when you're saying something or you heard someone say something and you say that something and then um you accidentally say the word you're like gonna read or say or write do you know what i'm talking about that phenomenon phenomenon do, 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 do. my last tutorial i saw a mistake when doing this time stamps and that was the fourth time watching it i know I know what you mean. I know. It can be very frustrating, but I know you love what you do. You know what I mean? It's just, it could be frustrating because I do the same exact thing. You said, I know, because I said that we need to get it together. <laughs> Type the counter here. Dude, I can't, it's like a lot. Oh, sorry. Let me here look at the macrame instead. I forgot that that's what you guys are just staring at the nipple of the the boob I just made. Hi Linda, good morning. I haven't slept yet. Have you slept yet? I haven't. My daughter, my daughter wishes. Uh, my daughter washes her hands um too often because they're ocd so i tell her follow this rule when you take out put it in so every time you yeah you wash you put on lotion yep yeah i imagine that doctor's hands are very dry if they don't lotion up you know and then hi linda and then i'm usually okay i mean ADHD brain is usually singing and talking to me through my work day so I can override with all okay mostly. I do the same thing. I sing all the time. Let's do a 24 hour get the <laughs> get that out of here. You're crazy. No. Hi Ursula and then Crystal. I think it's because if you listen to something a lot of times you miss things. Yeah. And then you like kind of get used to hearing it and you forget to look for certain cues it's definitely true my neighbor is early let me open up for him i'm actually gonna end the live here because it's 4 31 it's 4 30 it's 4 48 a.m and i went four hours and 31 minutes so i have to go and go to sleep and i love you guys all of you and I will see you later. I cannot start the second one. Good night. I mean, good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good night. It's probably morning for you guys. Bye, guys. Nipple time. No, okay. I mean, you said dude. So Aerosmith, dude, like, do like, dude is like a lady. Uh, we'll be on my loop all day now. And easy. I thought it was bad. Get to know. Okay, I can't. I can't keep reading. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. You are letting me go to sleep. Lauren, no. No. And especially you, Samoan. This, this is unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable behavior. I like this comment more. Good night. Good night. Good night, Rudy. Good night. Good night, you guys. Bye.